Hello, everybody. Welcome in. We are heading into a brand new session of Adventures in Wild Mount. Now, the end of last session, they had all died, except Wabu was resurrected and given the materials to only bring a couple of them back and told to choose. He has also been told that they have 60 days until the end of the universe. So things are looking a little bleak, especially since Wabu was not paying attention to the speech that was given uh, as he you know, just kind of looked around completely oblivious to everything. But it is what it is. Hopefully this is going to be a uh, good session. Uh, there we go. That's one I was looking for. Okay, so I got to change that real quick. Uh, just let you know what I got coming up, though. We have uh, a wonderful, wonderful month ahead of us. We are doing, uh, uh, I've got my affiliate anniversary this month. So we are doing a giveaway. It's going to run all month. Uh, subs, donations, cheers uh, of at least 100 bits and donations of at least uh, uh, $1. We'll get you entries into a uh, giveaway that will be drawn on uh, early June. We also have a, uh, a special stream, May 25th, Saturday, 2 p.m. Eastern time we start. It is a minimum 10 hour, uh, 10 hour stream. The more subs we get, the longer the stream will go on and the more wild things are going to get, uh, including things like just, uh, simply increasing the time I'm going to be streaming. Um, waxing body parts, trimming my glorious beard. Uh, even, uh, if we hit the lofty goal, I will even go hairless from the neck up. That includes the head, the beard and the eyebrows but uh hopefully i will see you here for that we are going to be running a uh, uh tomorrow night we've got 7 p.m eastern time uh me and four of the people that are actually in this game are going to be running some destiny 2 for the first time uh so hopefully we will see you there and without further ado let's get to the game there because you're starting to learn the important pieces now yep well, yep welcome to the game everybody hello Does anybody like to give us a quick rundown where we're at and what's happening i can we are um at ask or at uh i forget the location we're at it but there was a big battle that happened when uh, the undead army came and follow, followed us back from the mountains and uh, resulted in a lot of the party uh, dying. And Wabu survived and was given a message uh, from Saz Tam saying that we have a month to prepare um, and he wants a good fight. But lots of us are currently dead. And Wabu hopefully has a plan. Wabu doesn't even know that we have 60 days. Exactly. Yeah, that is this, true. Is, this is accurate. He does not. Wabu 100% right. does not have a plan. <laughs> true. We do not have that information because we were dead. And yes. All right. Well, Wabu, I believe you were headed off to find a place to rest, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Yeah. Somewhere where I think is safe and is in a corner. In here. Uh, and I believe this was uh, it got late in the evening by the time you were resurrected, correct? Yeah, I believe it was dark. It's dark. I don't know. Uh, my character wouldn't have time reference, but it was definitely pitch black. All right. As you look around this town and you realize that uh, pretty much what is left is on fire. The army has now passed by and after rolling over this city is headed into the uh, main center area of Wild Mount toward Rexentrum. 
which you know to be the capital of the Dwendalian Empire. However, as you go and find a place to rest, you settle in for the evening. You were able to find a spot in one of these towers. Uh, being stone, it's not as easily burned as the rest. Sulamine. It has been hours since you have uh, ran from the battle, seeing many of your allies fall. As you kind of skirt the mountains and uh, find rocks to hide from, uh, you avoid several uh, airborne patrols, finding outcroppings of rock or small little caves to hide in. However, about uh, about six hours into your escape to head towards Grimgallier, realize you see something in the darkness. Sit up on this perch and pause for a moment. Realize it looks like the Undead army passing by, leaving Rockguard Garrison. For a moment, something in you pulls at you. You begin to wonder if maybe you got lucky and they left your friend's bodies behind. Ah, that's what that intelligence roll was for. Because I was trying to figure out whether or not I would realize that. Stormforge were really the last best chance for this to win. Yes, in fact, do. So I will head back to town to try, or uh, rock our garrison to see if I can find their bodies on the carpets. Now it takes you a few hours to get back. Unless you wish to pull out your griffin, in which case you'll get there in like half the time. I don't think I have my griffin with me. Uh, he should be in your flask of safety. Oh, everyone has a flask of safety? I thought that was one person. Everybody's got a flask of safety. Well, I'm a dumbass. Well, then I am. If the army has passed, I am flying back to save time. Yeah, you, uh, you, you give it a, a little bit as you watch, and as the you, you see what looks to be the trail of the army. It, it took a few hours to pass you by. But you mount up on uh, your griffin, and you head back. As you fly over the landscape, it is easy to spot Rockguard Garrison. The fires and the smoke burn. And as you near the front gates, flying upon your griffin, the smoke becomes stronger and thicker, stinging your eyes, your lungs. Taste. Horrid. Realize you are not able to see down into the town from the night. What would you like to do? Where am I relative to... Am I on the western gate or the eastern gate? Western. And I'm going to fly smack over the center of the town, uh, aiming for the uh, eastern gate, because I think that's where everybody was uh, when the battle ended, for the last time I saw them. Okay. As you head in that direction... Wabu, you are uh, you are sleeping inside of one of these towers. However, the area is still extremely smoky. As you're trying to sleep, you begin to off and act. Realize this probably should have left town to get some rest, but you begin to hear wings flapping over the city. 
would you like to do? Um, is there like a place I can peek my head out? Yeah, there's windows. Okay. Yeah, I'd like I'd like to peek my head out cautiously, of course, because I don't I don't know if there's like the raids are flying back over town again. I would like you to give me a perception. You managed to spot uh, a figure in the smoke above the town. Not flying very high. Trying to stay a little bit lower. And it looks like he's kind of circling and going slow. Like somebody's who's looking for something. Can't really make out the figure. But you can always tell where they are due to the, the swirl of smoke that is escaping the wings as the wings blow the smoke away. Um, <clears throat> quick question. Yep. I haven't used this much, but for druid craft, you can create like a bunch of weird things. One of them is like a a golden orb. Does that have any light, or is it just golden color? Okay. That's just golden. Uh, I guess just golden color. Damn. Okay. Uh, can I? Can I? I'm just gonna watch the uh, the figure that's circling a little bit, just for a moment. <clears throat> See if I can get any details, if, or maybe do I? Maybe I do. I notice what the type of wings that are flapping are. Can I hear that? Give me a another perception advantage. Yeah. Sounds an awful lot like Griffin wing. Okay. At this point, I will call out. Um, and I, th I know who's dead, so I'm gonna call out, be like Sulamine, Wabu, because like I don't know many people that have griffins. I think that's a fair assessment. Mm -hmm. It is. Okay. Well, then yeah. So once he says my name, like I'm down here, down here, and I'll, I'll like try to. If I have a torch nearby, I'll try to like hang it out the window. I mean, yeah, everything's on fire. You can definitely find a torch. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Wabu, uh, you, you start to see uh, a new smaller flame kind of being waved outside of a window. I mean, on this tower here. Got it. So can I make out a face or if it sounds like Wabu, I can tell it's Wabu? Yeah. Well, of course, I just said Wabu, dumbass. Oh, so yeah, I'm going to fly down and uh, land at the base of the tower. I don't trust the tower to land on top of it. That's smart. All right, so uh, after a few moments of Sulmi climbing the tower, uh, get high enough to find you, Wabu, uh, you two have reunited. Wabu, how did you make it? Sulamine, how... he's like, you're alive. I didn't find you amongst the rest of the our friends. So I, I was curious what had happened to you. Yeah, I saw we were losing and was trying to find some way to preserve the party, so I ran and hid. Hmm. Hey, nods. <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> Pansy ass. Fucking sneeze, dude. Caught me off guard. Yeah, you know. <laughs> it's allergies. <laughs> Allergic to bitch. Oh, fuck. Well, you're here and you're alive. How did you make it? Well, I don't. I, I, it kind of weird. Um, I just everything went black for a bit, and then I I woke up, and some weird guy had me tied. I don't know if it was a kink or something, but. 
you know. Um, and then he he started talking about something, but I I couldn't listen because all I was thinking about is the dragon and and if I wanted to be friends with it, what would I have to bring to feed it? And then all of a sudden, they were gone. Have you seen the rest of the party? Yeah, they're they're in my bag, and he taps his bag holding. Slowly looks askance at uh, Wabu, a little surprised that everybody's in the bag. So can you uh, can you heal them, Wabu? Hmm, Wabu's like, uh, <clears throat> looks at him. He's like, of course, my friends never die. It's good to have friends. Wabu nods heartedly. <clears throat> Heartily. Well, can we resurrect them here, or do we need to do it somewhere else? Uh, well, I was like, well, I, I don't have the materials for, for reincarnate, which is what I would usually use to to bring them back. So I, I have to go back to Krimgalier. Player to DM, which way did the army go? West towards Rex Centrum. I can show you on the map. Nah, no, you're cool. I'm just trying to figure out if they're heading Grip Gallier way so we can get back there. So, you guys are here. Grim Gallier is here. Rex Centrum is here. Uh-huh. Well, Wabu, let's go back as quickly as possible, but I want to check one thing before we go. I know we've been uh, dallying around with this safe vault for some time, and I think we finally have the combination for it, and I'd like to try that one more time. Hmm. Wabu, Wabu looks at him and he's like, sure, whatever, whatever you want. I have to wait till the morning anyway, and then I can take us take us over to Grimgalia right quick. Awesome. I just need well, to sleep. Do you want to rest and I'll go over there and check it out? Or do you want to come with? What do you prefer? Well, we... um, player to DM, what time is it now? It is about 11.59. I, I think I need to rest. I need to make sure I can... I have enough energy for them tomorrow. You rest, I'll go check. It works. As you say this, something begins to shine in the sky. Through the smoke and the fire, you catch glimpses. A blazing flame, high, high in the sky. But large enough that Anybody could read them. What does it say? At first, it says 60. And then as you watch it for a moment, the tower, uh, a clock tower in the town starts to ring number changes to 59. We need to be careful, Wabu. This one is subtle. Yeah, who, you, you who, ignore what I... You, who, you, you ignore the who's in a what hint. now is subtle? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Ignore the hint I give and I'm gonna fucking paint it across the sky. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Wabu still doesn't know what the fuck it is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. This is all on Sulamine at this point. Yep, that that that's kind of why I did that. Because I figured Wabu still <laughs> wouldn't know, but Sulamine is probably gonna have a uh, a good hint. You mean the guy that didn't have the sense to grab a pad of paper in the museum? Yeah, the barbarian told it. Him. doesn't matter, everybody's gonna eventually see it. You know, it's it it's staying up there, okay? Okay, okay. 
It's staying there. Everybody's gonna see it. Somebody's gonna fucking figure it out. There you go. The NPCs will be telling us about it. I've heard there's an adventure uh, with a time limit. <laughs> yeah, so uh, what, what y'all want to do? Well, I'm going to head for the museum. I'm going to keep being dead. You know. I mean, I'm vibing in death. It's cool. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Well, I was going to attempt to go to sleep. I'm going to haunt Wabu's dreams. <laughs> I mean, that sounds quite delightful, to be honest. You already haunt mine. It cozy up <laughs> inside, right up inside my brain. Oh, it goes to kind. sleep, Graham visits me. So, Wabu, are you, you going to try to find a place outside of town to sleep this time? Yeah, it sounds like it's uh, not safe inside town for sleeping, so yeah. Well, I mean, the entire place on fire, man. You ever, you ever breathe in smoke for more than fucking an hour? <laughs> yeah. I didn't really know it was still, like, on fire. On oh, fire. yeah. It's on fire, fire. I only knew Beautiful. about the, the few smokes. But, yeah, so I'll definitely head just outside of town where it's uh, not if, smoky. If Wabu's starting to leave as I am, I'm going to coordinate where we're going to meet up. Sure. Sounds good. As you head to the museum, Sulamin, you realize that... Um, this particular building, the, the fire is all but burnt the ground to the building. The, the beams and planks that held this place up, um, though not on fire, uh, are still hot and smoldering. Bill, you will not be able to get to the vault today without some way to cool it. Can I piss on it? That will not be enough. You do not have enough ladder size to to put out uh, the embers and the coals. Fortunately, sorting through my stuff right now. I don't think I have anything. Yeah, water. Would it be also poops? Goodness. Right. Well, where's his work? You just poop in your hand and throw it at the flames. Monkey style. Exactly, dude. So it sounds like I'll be resting alongside Wabu since I can't get in there right now and I don't have a way to cool it down. You guys go to rest. Though the smoke is not drifting directly at you, uh, the smell is of course still in the air. In your dreams, both have a very similar dream. The world burning, flames rushing across the surface as if it had been covered in oil and a spark had been thrown. You watch as, once again, your friends die. See the world around you begin to tear apart. Unbelievable sizable chunks of the earth being ripped away and thrown. The air becomes unbreathable. And as you guys awake in the morning, you gasp for air. The last thing that you saw in your dream. That the air was unbreathable. Almost like there was no air left atmosphere being ripped away fucked out into what looked like the astral but as you both awake choking and coughing the rest of you 
being dead. You're each in your own specific planes. The afterlife. All of you see the same clouds over the entire realm. The people in the towns aired. Thunder and lightning threaten to rip everything apart. You can all give me a... Sorry, all the dead people may give me a... Religion. I'm still in character, man, sir, because the spell, so I'll just roll the d20. Uh, it's a wisdom modifier. Sorry, you're what? Oh, in character, man, sir? Uh, yeah. No, it's intelligence. Okay. Damn, Phoenix. I have a plus five to it. Spoonbreaker and Richter. You two are the only ones who realize what's going on, um, though you're not in the uh, same plane as each other. The way a deity stays alive is by the faith of its followers. However, the less followers they are, the weaker they are. The weaker they are, the less likely they'll be able to hold their plane of existence together. The two of you realize simultaneously that before long, this afterlife and your deities will soon become non-existent. Realms will tear themselves apart. The souls living there will become nothing. Owabu and uh, Sulamine, you guys wake in the morning. There's, an, there's still fire, but a lot of it has gone out as there is not a whole lot left to actually burn. What would you guys like to do? Hmm. Well, Wabu will look to zoom big. Zoom in big. You ready to go? Yeah, let's hit the vault really fast. I'm hoping it's burnt out by now. I checked last night and it was still smoldering. I could get to it. Okay. We'll go see this vault thingy. Sure. <clears throat> the building around it, uh, even the, uh, the ashes and the coals have, have crumbled. The only thing left standing is this ancient vault. As you make your way through the burnt remnants of this building, paintings and, and statues burned, melted, broken by the falling building. You're able any to locate... Sorry, what? Any, stat any statues of precious metals? No. No, most of them are like marble and things like that. All destroyed, I take it? Yeah. You make your way through uh, the, the rubble and you pull a few things out of the way of the door of the vault. You begin to input the coordinates. And you kind of close your eyes and pray that this is the right order. As you begin to turn the handle, the vault, you hear a click. 
and then almost as if a vacuum the air around you is sucked in through this uh, now cracking open door as you open this door the light suddenly is blinding and you realize that it's an awful lot like the light that has been leading you to the southeast. However, as you keep an eye, or you, uh, as, as you open the door and you look at the back, you can tell that there is a uh, anti-magic seal on the back of it. I feel this is what has been keeping the uh, the artifact pieces, letting you know where they were. What would you like to do? Walk into the vault, shielding my eyes against the light. While looking for traps, see if there are any. Physical, primarily because I'm not familiar with magic. As you walk down into this vault, you, in fact, do not see any traps. And Wabu, I take it you're following behind? Yep. As you get down into the bottom, you notice that there's not much light down here. However, with your dark vision, you are able to notice there are several um, several armor stands and weapon racks. This vault is much smaller than you thought it would be. Probably only about a 30 by 30 room. And as you look at the pieces in here, you notice that each one has a symbol of some sort. Whether it be One deity or another. They all have a marking. Some of these symbols, however, you do not recognize. All the ones you do are definitely from deities. However, if you look at the other ones, give me a religion. Okay. You feel that the way these symbols are portrayed on these pieces of armor and these weapons, they are probably of ancient deities, times past, or maybe even deities of other worlds. Well, I'm going to start grabbing anything that looks valuable and shoving it in my bag. Right. Dulamine, as you're doing this, you notice it's one that stands out. What stands out? I was trying to figure out what it was. Uh, okay. It looks like a shadowy mantle. Upon the crest, you see symbol of Corallon. Interesting. What do you do? 
Well, being the typically paranoid person, I am going to wait until Richter is alive again and ask him to identify it before I put it on. Damn, even though it's got the symbol of your god on it? All right. Be Bro. a man. Bro, much love. But do you think I trust you? Damn. That hurts my feeling. He's not wrong. Bro, you named yourself Savage. You want me to go, <laughs> okay. I'll oh, put it on trustingly. Wabu, what? Well, what are you doing down here? Um, is there anything that would be looking interesting to Wabu specifically? Wabu, as you kind of just wander around, taking a look at things, not really paying much heed, but just kind of like, you know, off in your own little world like you are, you feel a pull towards something. What am I giving you right now? Shit, I lost it. Okay, All right, that one. And... Okay. You notice a blue cloak. Sorry, we'll we'll make it green to go with your aesthetics. A green cloak. And along the inseam of it, you notice it looks like every phase of the moon going straight up the inseam and around the crest of the hood very top of it you notice the symbol of Sahani what are you doing with it hmm. well Wabu is the cloak the cloak can be like hmm I already have a cloak and then turn away. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, Wabu will walk closer and he'll uh, pick up the cloak and hopefully he doesn't explode. No, nope. you are quite all right. All right. And then he'll just uh, stick it in his bag for now. All right. He doesn't explode, but he bursts into flames. That's right. <laughs> Several other pieces, uh, as you stash them away, um, you do find several that belong to the the outlawed deities of the region. You find several more that are for other deities, such as uh, Bellius. What was his deity? Second. Gotta find my wild map. I can't remember if I made him Arathis or Bahamut. Either way, you find one that uh, happened to match Bellius. Bellius's symbol on his armor. Find many other strange ones. 
Um, ones you've never seen the symbol before. So as you load them into your bag, what would you like to do? Shove everything in the bag. And as you've emptied out this place, uh, taken several weapons, taken several pieces of armor, boats, shields, you've now emptied this place. What would the two of you like to do? Wabu, do you still have your griffin? We should go to Grimgallier. Well, I was like, Griffin? Yeah, I still have him. But wouldn't that be slow? We can go faster, if you'd like. How do we go faster? Let's just find a tree. That's all I need. I'll play along. Let's try it. Let's find a tree. I'm sure it'll be outside the city, because I think everything inside is burnt. <clears throat> Yeah, I would, I would assume so. Yeah, you guys can go outside and uh, find... Uh, I'm guessing you're doing transport via plants. Yeah, I just need to touch a tree. <clears throat> you find a tree large enough for you to walk through if there was a portal in it. And as you touch it, you can almost feel the tree's fear. The fire spreading that has spread through the nearby town. Do you want to do anything about that? I don't have the means to do anything about that, unfortunately. Okay. But you cast your transport via plants. And I believe you had found one, uh, a tree, how far outside Grimgallier? Uh, just outside. It's where we su summoned Hank. Right, right. You, you, uh, you transport back to Grimgallier. As you arrive, uh, you notice that uh, what is still left of their, their front wall still intact. And as soon as you guys start heading towards it, the, the cannons and the ballistae all turn towards you. Halt! Oh, Stormforged, we're here as allies. And I'll hold my hands up to show that they're empty. Approach the gate! Slowly approach while saying to Wabu, don't do anything sudden. Move really fast? No, move very slow. Sporadically? <laughs> and slow. Okay, okay. As you guys approach, you hear it. It is the storm force. Wait, we must inspect them first. Wait there. As they come down, uh, you see the gate uh, slowly crack open, just enough to let one dwarf out. And he comes walking straight up to you, Sulamine. Hey, bend down here. Only if you buy me dinner first. Ain't no time for joking, elf. I'll bend down to it. He takes a look at your facial features. 
He kind of like reaches up and like open your eyelid wider to like take a look at your actual eyeball. Huh. He uh, then takes out a dagger and hands it to you. Cut your hand. Cut my hand. A little what? red blood leaks out. And you he turns around. They're good! And the gate opens for you and Wabu and this dwarf. So Wabu, do you need magic or do you need alchemy or what what can I do to bring the party back? Well, I, I, I don't have any money. I got money. I'll take uh, care of that. But he's like, but but I have I have this and he goes to pull up the pouch. Um, and while holding the pouch before opening, he's like, I, I think there should be stuff I can sell to get the things I need. And then he opens to show Sulmi what's in the pouch. And as he starts pulling out the items, he starts giggling to himself. That's funny. He's like, I don't know how I forgot, but I can use these to revive some people. <laughs> Excellent. Um, how do I help? Do I get out of your way? Is there anything I can well, do? I do. I do, I need. I need more. This won't be enough for, for three of them. I need. I need enough for one more. Do we need Arcane Bob? Do we need the Alchemist? Let's go. Uh, player to DM Arcane Bob, correct? Or do I have to go somewhere special? Arcane Bob might have what you're looking for. Did you not pick up Bellius's body as well? Bellius. Bellius. Uh, you didn't. You didn't have his body there to pick up. Yeah, it was there. Oh, you didn't mention it. <clears throat> oh yeah, not, I, I, put, them all, the I put them all on the line. Yeah, he was there. Uh, okay. Sure. Then I'll need two sets of mat mats. As you guys head in, and the dwarf goes with you, he says, "Uh, well, there's been reports of a undead army made it past Rockguard Garrison. You be hearing anything about that?" Yeah, I saw them going west from Rockguard Garrison. We tried to stop them, but they overran us. We came back here to warn you as soon as we could. Aye. So they finally made it through, have they? Indeed. Only only be a couple days for their Atrox Centrum. Once they take that out, we're doomed. <clears throat> well, I think it's important the Stormforge get there before them and we'll fight them again. To the last man this time. I... <clears throat> well... I hope you find what you're looking for. And uh, he pauses, uh, and he kind of gives you a salute. Snap to attention and return the salute crisply. I'll be seeing you, Elf. Take care, Dwarf. You too, Portal. Wabu smiles and waves. See you soon. You guys head off into the city once again. Having only been here a uh, uh, week or two earlier. Indeed. You've noticed that uh, much of the city has been uh, put back together as you walk through the, the city. Um, people still look worried. There's still people at work. Um, but as you walk through the markets to go up there and then down to here here see a lot of places have been turned into uh makeshift um blacksmiths uh carpentry pretty much everything that you could possibly use for battle places have just been taken over for as you make it into the market up here you notice that there's not really food vendors anymore more of people waiting in line for loaves of bread. A 
bits of water. Make it to Arcane Bob's. God, I seriously lose Arcane Bob's. Oh, 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 oh that, that. Where's Arcane Bob's again? I lost it. Where's the map? Oh, it's probably labeled Arcane Bob's. good uh, assumption there's that subtlety again did you walk in um for the first time bob is not snoring nor is he uh obviously hopped up on potions of speed ah wabu <clears throat> excuse me ah uh, wabu Oh, that's not it either. I fucking hate Arcane Bob's voice, man. I cannot. I never get it. You were so good until you started throwing in that one extra voice, and since then you can't come back. For real, though, right? <laughs> it affected you. Oh, Wabu. Sulamine. Welcome back. I hear, uh, Wab I hear some disturbing reports. Rockguard Garrison. Things did not go as we had hoped. Uh, Wabu's like hopping up and down, but he pops in. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Things things not great. But do you have any more of that that blue stuff? Blue stuff? You know, the good stuff, Bob. You mean potions of speed? It's uh, it's actually a, like a milky substance. Oh, I thought it was blue. Damn. Okay. The, <laughs> the white milky stuff? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. No, it's uh, it, it almost looks like quicksilver, like mercury. Okay. Yeah. That silvery stuff. Uh, I mean, I got a couple left. Why? I mean, it, it feels good. Okay, calm down now. You don't want to be starting a habit, you know. And where's the rest of your friends? Wabu's itching his arm. They're with us, unfortunately. Unfortunately, at the same time, they did not survive the battle. They gave their lives trying to defend Stormwatch Keep. Or Stonegar Keep. An obvious look of despair comes over Arcane Bob. Rock our garrison, damn it. Sorry. Oh, no. W without them, I fear all might be lost. But we're hoping to bring them back. That's why we're here. Wabu says, do you have things for sale that he could use to bring them back? I mean... I don't know. I'm kind of out of most things, unfortunately. Uh, what, what do you need, Wabu? Uh, well, well, I just I just need some some oils and ujits. We're that, a thousand gold. Actually, make that two thousand gold. I guess there's two people I need to bring back. Two thousand gold. Um, DM to player. Reincarnation. Yeah, reincarnate. Yep. For two times. Hmm. Well, give me a moment. Kind of flips through his book. Hmm. Well, I think I do have a little bit of that left. He uh he opens a a spot in his desk, and he reaches in like the the drawer is up at the top of his desk, but he reaches in all the way to his elbow, like just. This drawer should not be this. And he's ah, give me a moment. Ah, here it is. And he plops down oils and ugents. Well, guess you better get to it. He uh, he he stands up and he kind of walks over. And uh, he starts clearing things off of uh, the tables here. 
you know, this will go a lot quicker if y'all help me. We'll help him. Yeah, Wabu, Wabu will come help. And I'll give him the gold. Ah, uh, don't, don't worry about it. What's gold matter if we're all gonna fucking die anyway? I like that spirit. Um, but as you guys start to help, uh, he, he starts to, uh, you know, not really do much in the way of helping, but just telling you where to put stuff. Um, he says, all right, well, buy them out on the table. Uh, Wabu will start pulling them out onto the table. Damn it, where did I put Valius again? Allies, right? As you guys lie them out, uh, it, it takes you a few minutes to, to get them all laid out. Wabu. What are you doing? Yeah, so Wabu's getting really excited. He's like, oh, yeah. Can't wait to see what everyone's gonna be. And um, he's gonna go over to uh, Velius first. And he's excited. He's very excited. He's like, uh, uh, uh. And he's gonna start casting a spell for the next hour. Which spell might that be? That spell is going to be Reincarnate. Valius is not going to be happy about this. Oh, spell for me, please. Yeah. Wabu thinks it's a very exciting moment right now. So can't see what, can't wait to see what he gets. All right. Dragonborn, dwarf, uh, hill dwarf, mountain dwarf. Uh, got elf. Dark Elf, High Elf, Wood Elf, Gnome, Forest, Rock, Half Elf, Half Orc, Halfling, Human, Tiefling. Uh, I'm going to throw a couple more in there as well. So we're going to have you roll a... Don't roll it yet because I need to lay out what uh, what they are. But you're going to have, I believe Janassi's also going to be in there, as well as, uh, all right, give me Water. All right, I need two more. That's an assy.
Shit, I missed one. Second. She began to uh, lather him in oils. Mm. Getting real sensual in here. Necrophilia? Oh, don't forget star. the sensitive spots. Jesus Christ. I don't even know what that is. Well, the anus. As you lather him in oils and begin your ritual. Valise's body um, begins to heal. However, as it does, actually, he doesn't change at all. He'll look humanoid. Uh, as he begins to heal, the only noticeable difference is that his hair turns stark white. Over the course of an hour, uh, uh, so, so, thought. so for reincarnate, it's a separate body beside the body savage that you call the soul into. Oh, the body forms next to his. He looks similar. But I want you to roll me two. As his hair turns white, and I think his eyes might change. Um, his eyes of this new uh, new body begin to go gray. And quickly, as soon as your ritual is finished, for, for a moment it's like you just created a new empty shell. However, suddenly <clears throat> he sits straight up. Sorry, you rolled a one. She sits straight up. Huh. Uh, stark naked and suddenly heaving uh, her chest. Marshall looks around, confused, uh, starts to scramble off the desk and notices the extra parts um, on the chest, kind of bouncing. What, uh, what's happening? Where am I? No, no. He, he notices you for the first time, Wabu. What have you done? Wabu's just grinning. Gr grinning. Velius, you're back. You're alive. Uh, noticing his nick or her nakedness suddenly covers up. Uh, you know, stretching one arm uh, across her chest and you know one down to uh, lower region. What? Groin. Why? Why? Why am I? Why do I have tits? 
Wabu notices the covering up first and goes to grab the cloak off the dead body of Velius to give to the live Velius. Quickly grabs it and, and wraps it around herself. Is, is that me? Well, I, I mean, depends what you define as you. You're, 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 you have your soul. That is just a body. Suddenly, she grabs her head and kind of falls down to her knees. And she looks like she's in a lot of pain. And... And... Uh, where'd it go? Wabu, good sir. Yep. I would like to know... What you are currently thinking. Mm. Wabu well, is currently very happy right now. Uh, he brought somebody back. And he thinks it's exciting to see what race the person was. Why are you why are you so happy? What do you mean what race I am? Oh my head. It hurts. Wabu grins even wider. He's like, you can hear my thoughts? This is so cool. Why? why? And Bellius kind of just sits down in the corner. Or, yeah, with her back against the wall, just kind of muttering to herself. As she has just a touch of madness moment she suddenly snaps out of it what happened to rock guard garrison uh, wabu's like well well i mean i mean you died everybody kind of died so, yeah, that happened. So, what is happening with the undead? Are, are they marching through the center of Wildmount? Are they going? Where are they going? I don't know. I Last we saw was west. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Did you see? No, if he saw, that's fine. I didn't know we saw. You did, Sulamin, and you're pretty sure that with the trajectory they were on, they were heading towards Rex Centrum. Then I'll share that supposition with Marsh Bellius. What? And as he takes a look and sees the tables spread out throughout the room, noticing uh, the rest of the Stormforge laying upon the tables. What are you waiting for? Bring them back. We need them. Well, uh, of course, of course. That's why I, I was just doing that. But then you got all freaked out and weirdoed for whatever reason. I was, you know, it's... It's exciting. I have tits are. and I'm hearing voices. What do you mean for what reason, Tortle? Isn't it amazing? No! It's new experiences. <laughs> to be fair, we do spend much of our time pursuing them. You have your own pair. <laughs> he is less than impressed with that comment. He walks back over to his body and starts pulling off the, the armor. Um off of his body silently so what well, well, he's, well, he's like so wait wait let me let me clarify you you didn't like having a new body who would want a new body they would want their own body what i don't know i'd like to be like a i don't know like a, a key cat or maybe a dragonborn bah. or or i could be a halfling or maybe I could be big lady. Yeah, I could be big lady and stomp around. 
He says, Wabu, I'm fairly certain you weigh more than she does. You already can stomp. I assure yeah, you. But she can crush things. I'm not very strong. Sounds like you should get good. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> continues to strip the armor from his body. Well, go on, res them. I was like, <laughs> okay. But you're sure not fun experience, right? No. No, not fun experience. Probably like kind of mopes his way over to the next person. He's like, as he walks over to Richter, he's like, I know. Richter will uh, appreciate my my sense over here, and he goes up to Richter. And as he be as he starts to think about what he's going to cast, he's like, "Wait, I can't do that, because Richter's arm will go his cool cannon thing." Pew. He's like, he needs his cannon. If I give him a new body, he can't have his cannon. He's like, okay, Richter can be himself again. And he'll start to work on True Resurrection on Richter for the next hour. All right. Well, that's gone on, Savage. Can I see if uh, Arcane Bob has a pair of gloves of thievery by chance? Sure. Roll me a d20. You want evens. Yeah, he's got a pair. Or I would love to purchase them from him. Sure. Where is my handouts? I think Wonders Uncommon is 2000. But of course, it's wartime. He'll give them to you for 1,000. Wow. Sold and sold. I mean, there's not many people left. So, you know, whatever inventory he's got, he's putting towards the war effort, right? Fair point. All right, so I'm going to have to change values to stat block later. Um... Sorry. No worries. Um, <laughs> yeah, you, uh, Rector, as, as you're watching um, in dumbfoundedness, the realm of your afterlife very slowly turning to shamble. You hear Wabu chanting, immediately coming just on a breeze of wind. Wabu, you reach a point in the spell where you continue your hand movements. But you can try to coax him back to his body. Richter! Richter! It's time to come and play! Uh, Richter will follow the voice. As you do, uh, it takes you a few moments, but suddenly you are bathed in light and your soul is reattached to your body. You completely come back. Uh, you realize that the light is the light of Arcane's bobs. Your eyes have been closed for a while and for, it takes you a moment for your eyes to adjust. And as it as they do, you awake, gasping for air. Yeah, that first breath is real 
labored as Richter uh, comes back and is pretty shocked and disoriented and looks around and uh, notices Wabu, I would imagine. And uh, Richter would say to Wabu, um, what, what's going on? Uh, what happened? Where are we? Wabu, you never cease to amaze me. Fill me in. And I kind of stand up and start cleaning myself off, like fixing my hair, all that stuff. Wabu's got a bit of a sad face. He's like, I'm sorry, Richter. I couldn't bring you back as something more fun. More more fun? He kind of looks yeah. around. Yeah. Like, what? You lose your arm. If I brought you back as something else, you don't get to keep your arm. And uh, at this moment, as he says that, and you're fixing your hair, Wabu, you notice that his arcane cannon lies next to him and Richter you realize that you have both of your hands second paragraph of the true resurrection sorry my push talk wasn't on uh, oh it does yeah. re replace damage or missing organs and limbs hey Richter Damn were you it. circumcised <clears throat> yes <laughs> Not anymore. I don't know if they do that back in the, <laughs> the halfling days. Um, he, uh, yeah, Richter is very shocked, but not upset. He just is, is shocked and he kind of takes his arm and runs his hand down his arm, feeling his, his arm there and says to Wabu, putting his fresh arm on his shell, saying, I always, I always thought about finding some magic to replace this. Ah, Richter, um, he looks over at the arcane cannon and uh, will say, you know, we can still make this work. I I have some ideas, but thank you for this. W Wabu and is even more there. sad now. Is the arm was supposed to stay there? Why did Richter, the arm not stay there? Richter laughs and says, what were you talking about? Or, 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 you're reviving everyone, correct? Well, well, yeah, but I can revive people two ways. The one way is a lot more fun than that way. Uh, would Richter get this? What he's talking about? He probably knows the two spells, eh? Uh, you can give me an Arcana. So yeah, Richter. Um, you know of we'll them, yes. Okay, yeah, Richter will... He's also say, seen me use Reincarnate. True. You did? When? He the, did uh, it. What, uh, what's Ash's Super. Bay's soup guy's name? Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, so so Richter will kind of put it together, at least loosely, and say, oh, well, I mean, in times of necessity, we can only do what we can do. Kind of chuckles, says, uh, Nothing a little disguised self won't fix. I think uh, bringing them back is better than not, Wabu, so carry like, on. Fi fix? Fix? You get a new body. You could be something different. It's fun. It's exciting. Yeah, Richter looks down at his short legs and kind of says, you know, I am fond of, of this, so that is what it is. But you and agree with me. Good. You agree with me. New body is fun, right? This one points over at Velius. Didn't think it was so fun. It's not fun. What? You want it to stay dead? The sass. <laughs> he just, uh, he just kind of glares and goes back to uh, putting his armor on. Um, however, he runs into a uh, little bit of a problem when he realizes that his uh, chest does not fit his chest plate anymore. Uh, like I said, you want me to cast this guy's self on you, make you feel a little bit better? Let me know. But uh, yeah, we got a war to fight. And Richter's going to pick up the arm and just kind of stare at it and just uh, tinker with it mildly. Be a man. Cut off your fucking arm. <laughs> yeah, way cooler. 
This simply will not do. So, Wabu, uh, you've used a level 9 spell and a level 7 spell. Uh, level 5 is the other one. Reincarnation is only level 5? Yep. Oh, well, shit. Okay. I thought it was level 7. All right. So, well. I can do reincarnate one more time today. Um. So, before I do anything, I'll be like, all right, Richter, as I'm like rubbing my hands together, who gets the fun spell? He's like, which one? Who's going to appreciate this the most? At this point, um, I am going to ask the players, just because I don't want to fuck up their whole uh, their whole thing, if there's anybody that doesn't mind the reincarnation spell being used on them. I'll take it. Is that the one that fucks with you? That's the one that changes, could change your race, yes. Let's fucking go, dude. Send it. All right, so two of them are okay with it. So, um, Richter, you get the feeling that uh, it's one of those two. So I'll let you guys decide. Uh, Richter will take a coin out and flip it. And who gets the... Uh, who gets... Uh... Uh, Richter will look over and uh, which one's closer to him. Doesn't matter. I, I'll just say Ash is heads and Spoonbreaker is tails. All right, so to how, see if he gets to keep his tail. How we're going to do this is going to be a <laughs> D100. Evens will be heads and odds will be... Evens will be heads, tails will be odds. Uh, roll D2. D100. Tails. And who was it that got tails? Me. Oh, it's Spoonbreaker's time to shine. Looks like fate says Spoonbreaker. Let's fucking go, dude. Yeah, I know Spoonbreaker will appreciate this. Uh, Wob was getting really excited, and he's starting to hop over to uh, Spoonbreaker, doing a little dance. I'm more worried about what Spoonbreaker's going to do with his original body, honestly. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Um, he will. I've uh... always wanted to fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't? Uh, Wabu well, we will begin to cast reincarnate. While he's doing that, I'm going to say to Richter, I found quite a few things in this vault. Are you able to identify them? Vault, eh? Which vault are we talking about? The vault in. Place I forget because I have shit memory. Rockard Garrison. Rockard Garrison. Thank you so much. And when you say that, I think it's the first time Richter kind of realizes he's not at Rockard Garrison too. He's like, "Whoa, what the fuck?" He's like, "How much time has passed?" You can also say the Ash Pit, formerly known as Rockard Garrison. Right. Uh, no more than ten hours. We, we took a rest. Oh. Wabu did some magic, brought us back here. I, I, I'm assuming fairly quickly because the time of day didn't seem to change. Oh, fantastic! I yes, absolutely. Pass pass it all over. I can I can take a look, and Richter right. will identify. And I will hand that to Richter. And while he's doing that, I'm going to head back to the jeweler if that's okay. If he's still in business. Sure. Oh, I, I think his shop got ruined, didn't it, during the battle? No, there was a slip and fall that did some damage to his shop. Oh, yeah, I remember. I remember that. But I thought uh, I thought you guys had uh, gone back to his shop and, like, it was actually destroyed during the battle. Oh, did we? I don't remember that, but okay. I think. Then I'll stand by and watch the fireworks with uh, Spoony. Boombreaker, I am about to change your sheet, sir. You become a Herongon. Know what a Haragon is, Spoonbreaker? Nah. It's dope. It's a bunny. It's a bunny. 
And Wabu is very excited about this right oh, now. Oh, dude, this is fucking lit, bro. <laughs> What's the fucking rabbit from fucking Winnie the Pooh, dude? Rabbit? <laughs> oh. I mean, you still have your, your own facu faculty. It's yeah, just yeah, your yeah. body's change and, and what, your, yeah, what you, your abilities will change. But that's what we're going to look like, is fucking Winnie the Pooh. D As a humanoid? <laughs> Roll it up that. with Wabu and I. Yeah, and you get all the racials, right? You get all the new traits and everything. Yep. Which yeah, I'm deleting his cool. Dragonborn ones right now, so you no longer have damage resistance from Dragonborn. You no longer have your breath weapon. Uh, of course, uh, I think that might be all you really got from Dragonborn. Blessed with Fey luck, keen senses, precise footwork, and powerful legs. Fey luck is dope, by the way. I also need a uh, a new picture, by the way, of what you're gonna look like as a heron gone. All right, medium or small. Oh yeah, you do get to be really small or like medium or like normal size. Yep. I think. All right, let's see. You no longer have, no longer have your breath weapon. But you do get. Do you look up the Heron Gone, by the way, in the compendium? You want to take a look what it does? Yeah, I'm, I'm already looking at something. All right. So, let's see. You already have proficiency with perception. You do not. So, you get that. Now, have a rabbit hop. Two. Christian bonus is now six, so. We had all of our money taken from us, right? I just made the note for that. Yep. Yeah. Everyone except for Sulamine. Okay. Don't worry, when everyone's back, we're going to split it up. I don't really need money. I'm just making sure we're making the right notes here. Because I kept it all in for reference. As per Savage's request. Gone. Sorry, it's just going to take me a second to actually, like, modify his sheet. But, uh, it actually, Herringon's got a lot of shit to it. Okay, I updated my picture. Uh, can you send me a copy in Discord, please? So I can make you a token later on. I had a Heron gone for, I think, five sessions, and now he works for the Witch Light Campaign, or uh, Carnival Forever. That's like cool. Years. And we lost that campaign in uh, Beyond the Witch Light. That, that was the and worst I, fucking module I've ever seen in my life. It was so badly <laughs> put together. Yeah, there was a lot missing eh, from the maps and the, the handouts and stuff, it seemed. Yeah, plus we had to, we went through a new fucking player every goddamn session for like fucking, what, four or five sessions? I'm like, all right, I'm, yeah. I'm done with this one. Yeah, where it ended, though, because we didn't do our thing, my hair gun ends up working for the carnival. Because he would have been killed, so he 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 made a deal with the Fey. It is what it oh, is. Oh, shit! Oops, sorry, I was out of rule twenty and everything. Is Boombreaker male? Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, Wabu, give me a D2. Fuck yes.
I mean, wow. oh, yeah, how long have you been dead? Rigor mortis is probably still a thing. You probably Jeez. still love yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. So many new places for coins. Bro. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I'm glad you're okay with this, sir. I mean, ma'am. cast feeble mind Thank on you. Spoonbreaker. <laughs> All right, now I need to add your proficiency to your base to your initiative, which your proficiency bonus is now six. All right, I think that you are probably good now. Uh, since you are a female, would you like to find a different uh, picture, or do you still want to use that one? Oh shit! You're right. I didn't even consider that. Let me let me take a peek at least. All right. Just put it in paint and draw some lipstick on it. <laughs> Jesus Christ! So, um, with that, oh, she's going to be so ooh, ooh Please don't make an anime character. <laughs> as Spoonberger, how do you react to your new body as you uh, gasp awake and realize that your original corpse is, is next to you? You are a uh, naked but furry female bunny. Uh, I'm going to grab Wabu and hug him. Wabu's like, bunny! And he's like hugging back, but also like rubbing the, the fur. Yeah. I'm just going to just gonna say thank you, Wabu. This is a once in a lifetime experience. And Wabu's gonna, as this is having to take a look over to Velius. See, this is how you're supposed to react. Spoonbreaker, looking good. Very interesting. Appreciate it. I, I give all my thanks to Wabu. Wabu's very happy with himself right now. Velius shakes his head and says that he is going to uh, go find the Underbaron. Uh, I do go to him and ask if he does want me to, to cast this guy's self on him um, to make the first conversation easier. Otherwise, I'm fine with everything. He pauses and he's like, the Under Baron will know me if I'm at least looking like myself. And he kind of thinks for a moment, fine. Um... Well, there's a problem with that, because I can only pick up myself, not him. And why did you I... even offer? Ah! Oh! And he, she, she, she just walks out. Um, however, before she does... The bloody storm forged. Before, uh, before she does... You with <laughs> she notices the pile of objects you are um, identifying. Jesus Christ, Spoonbreaker. <laughs> Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, so I can't wait now. to see this. And he notices uh, one with his deities symbol on it. 
And he picks it up. He looks it over. And let's say it's a set of gauntlets. He takes his off and he puts these ones on. Yo. What you doing? You're not there. Yeah, I am. The jewelry store was gone. Oh, no. I, I, I was asking. I wasn't sure yet. I apologize. What are you asking? Uh, no, I, w I was asking if uh, earlier, I was asking if it was gone. I, I couldn't remember either. Oh, I thought okay. it was, but I wasn't 100% sure. I didn't think it was, but my memory, as you have seen, is horrible. So for that, 50 cents, you get a cup of coffee. <laughs> because I don't remember, uh, we're going to say that it didn't. But you do arrive to find that place is closed. There is no sign of him anywhere. But we'll get to oh. that in a moment. Okay. As Velius puts these gauntlets on, what looks to be a radiant lightning starts to arc between the two gauntlets. Like, yes. Finally. Sorry, she says, yes. Finally. I only need one more piece. And I'll truly be her chosen. And he slams them together and the room just kind of like goes white with the uh, strength of the light sparks that fly. Well, at least you did one thing, right? And then she continues to walk out. Sulamine, you uh, you get to the uh, the magic shop, or the sorry, the um, the jewelers, the morning jeweler, and you see a sign that says "closed for business." Any windows? Yeah, sure. Peer inside and see if I can see anything. As you look inside, <clears throat> you notice that there is next to nothing left in the place. Uh, the display cases, many of them have been shattered. Uh, it looks like there's nothing in any of them. Nothing upon the shelves. That's all I needed. I'll head back to Arcane Bob's. You pass Velius along the way. She has a brand new set of gauntlets. Do I recognize them as being from the stash? Yes. Nice clothes. Where'd you get them? I understand that you raided uh, a vault in Rockard Garrison. Do you mean the place where Rockard Garrison was? I need no reminder of my failings, Zulamine. And are you claiming some right of ownership over these clubs, given you never had access to them? He shows you the symbol, which matches the sword at his side. These are artifacts. Belonging to the Chosen of Deities. He raided that vault, and as he kind of regards your bow, I would look for one that might match that bow on your back. Well, I'm still interested in the gloves. I mean, you can have them, but I just want some consideration. We can work something out. I owe you nothing. And she starts to walk away. I'll laugh and walk away. Disappointed that my pathetic attempt at humor failed. And fail it did. So 
But you, uh, you head back to Arcane Bob's. Uh, what are the those of you who are alive in there doing currently? Identifying. I'll use that word for what Spoonbreaker is doing. Well, I don't know how long was been. Well, how long was um, <clears throat> he assuming gone for? Um, by the time he gets back, uh, probably would take him about an hour. Yeah, so I'd just be finishing my spell. And how many items were there? Um, there were a lot. It'll take me ten minutes per item. Um, you're looking at. Probably, let's go with about 11 minutes per boot. item, because that's a one minute cast plus my yeah. ritual. Let's go with about, uh, it's probably going to take about boot. four hours to get all these. Okay. Yes. What's up? Am I not hearing something? You keep saying your name, but I don't know why. What? I said a boot. Oh. oh I, thought, I heard Wabu. Oh no, sorry, no. Just a boot. Hey, you watch your mouth. The Americans are the are the ones that are uh you know out of place here, I'm just saying. We speak how we Damn. speak in Canada, bro. That sounds like a threat on a country that spends no money on their defense. And all on beavers. Amen. Not a war crime the first time. <laughs> a lot of good men have spent a lot of good money on beaver. Oh my god, that's awful. Back beavers. Okay, so anyways. Um, so, Spoonbreaker, you said you're doing something uh, equivalent to identifying, which I think I know exactly what you mean. But Just Rick, checking it out, dude. Yeah, mm-hmm. Okay. Are you at least putting some fucking clothes on that are on your body, your original body? I don't know if Spoonbreaker is able to think about doing something as common knowledge as that at this moment because of the drastic change. As you guys are all working and two of the bodies are still laying there, um, Wab or, uh, Spoonbreaker seems to be doing something that is inappropriate. I mean, in normal circumstances, it would be inappropriate. Oh, Jesus. Trying out those new legs. No, I'm just checking everything out, you know? Just, like, trying to figure out how it works. Like a function check. Yeah, dude. Exactly. I'm just in the command line typing slash help the whole time. Bro, I'm just screaming help. General. Um. So. Is. Wabu, I'm guessing you're out of, uh. Resurrection spells for the time being? Yeah, I can't do anything more today. <clears throat> okay. So, as Richter, uh. continues to identify all these, um. It is obvious that they are all artifact pieces. However. Uh, only certain ones belong to you guys, your deities. And he kind of spreads them out. Uh, you find one for each of you, and you've still got about another, uh, like, 20-ish. That some of them you recognize their symbols, some you do not. And as you identify them, they come back all extremely powerful. These are no ordinary items. I start to tell the people as I identify them. I can't hear you because I'm dead. It's true. Um, do I recognize the symbol of Ayun on any of them? Yes, you do. I'll make sure to identify that one pretty soon after making that revelation. I've decided that Spoonbreaker will be Dr. Girlfriend. 
Talk to girlfriend. Yeah. Just gonna talk with the regular voice like this. And that's fine. <clears throat> cool. Um w- Wapu puts his hands on his hips while he notices that Spoonbreaker's been like kind of checking himself out. He's like, I do good work, right? A plus work. Actually, do I have my bag of holding with me? Yeah, I mean everything that you uh yeah, everything that was on your body is there. It's just that a lot of items have been removed. Well, I'm just going to slide my old body into my bag of holding. Saw that coming. Do I see that? I mean, he's sliding an entire ass fucking dragonborn into a bag of holding. I'm dead certain. I'm a fucking fast ass rabbit, dude. I will wab it that shit in there. You're, you're, you're not. You're, you're no, you're no faster than you were before. Oh damn it! All right, then I'm fucking... too, I'm too focused on identifying to, to know. Um, and after that, Wabu was just gonna like, um, <clears throat> just call it director. Hey, Richter. Yeah, Wabu. Uh, I'm I'm going to bed. I I'm out of juice. I got, I need eight hours. Hmm. That's fair. It uh, is. I'm gonna finish up here. It's uh, it's it's about noonish. No, about two in the afternoon. Yeah, I know. So I mean, yes, I I figure we're probably just gonna fast forward. Um, once I hand out the items to those who are alive. Um. Sure. But Rick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all. He, uh, Wabu Wabu's just gonna leave though, cause he's probably he's just exhausted anyway. Fair enough. So. Richter, did it pop up on your screen for you? Uh, no. You have a new item in uh, under item handouts. Richter set. Should see a new item. This particular item is uh, made of blue and, or sorry, uh, they are blue and gold robes made of the finest silk that you've ever or touched it flows softly and makes the wearer feel like they're wearing nothing at all yet provides a protection as if armored do you wear armor as an artificer I do I wear a uh, breastplate under my cloak okay and what kind of armor does it give you like give me a uh, it is a mizium breastplate uh, and it gives me one moment. It's got to find it in my stuff. An AC of 14. No, that is, uh, oops. So you are only going to be able to wear one of these and get the benefits. Okay. But you look at the handout, I feel you're probably going to want the robes. Sounds good. Uh, You hand out uh, Wabu's item, which was... Wabu's item is in his bag still. Oh, oh! You didn't give it to him to identify. No, I was busy. Did Did you want to do that before you take off? Since I mean, we're gonna fast forward once this is all done. So Bobby just took off. It's fine. We'll deal with it later. I'm not concerned about it. Richter, what are you doing with yours as you you notice it? Well, I'll uh, like identify it to figure out what it is. Once I do that, I'm just gonna be enamored with it for a bit, and uh, it's attunement. Yeah. It is, but um, are you putting it on? Yeah. As you put it yeah. on, uh, you feel it immediately attune. Ooh, very interesting. Um, I'm like, ooh, this is nice. Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. You also feel nothing smoother. At all. Nothing at all. You also feel smoother. Like, you could probably convince people of things 
a lot easier than you could before. You're able to think more clearly as well. This is very nice, and I will keep on wearing it. All right. Um, the Mizium breastplate that I took off, um, I'm going to put in my bag of holding as I'm probably going to use that item for materials. I got some ideas, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna pack away my other armor. Very well. Uh, you then identify a set of what looks to be almost silver plate, but upon closer uh, inspection, it turns out that it's probably mithril. As you identify it, you find out that this is also an extremely powerful item. And upon it to sit over top of the head guard. The symbol for uh, who's your deity, Spoonbreaker? Um, but forgot Melora, right? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, that was it. Okay. Find the symbol of Melora. I will give you this. Um, if you guys do not know how to edit your sheets to do this, um, I can do it later on. There's not going to be any real combat or anything for tonight, as far as I know, unless you guys do some wild shit. Always possible, bro. I can't do nothing. I'm too dead. Did it pop up for you, Spoonbreaker? Yes, I think. Conductor of the storm. It, wait, where is it? Okay, so if you go to your journal, you go down to item handouts, and then you go down to Spoonbreaker set, you will see it there. Okay. I see conductor of the storm. Indeed. Okay. Um, also, don't forget that if you are going to change your own sheets to add in this stuff, uh, yeah. Don't forget that your original item gives you another boost when you have attuned to two of these items. Which I have, I have I, a two to two now. Which I will show you what that is. Where it lost your item. Did I close it? I did. Okay. Uh uh. Could you re-say what you had just said? I don't think I understand it. So, each of you already had one of the artifacts set, right? Hmm. Well, when you attune to a second piece, the first piece you have also increases your uh, abilities and powers. So, I just changed your robe of stones, Richter. I will now change your staff of knowing. And now your staff of knowing has been changed as well. Uh, let me find spoon breakers. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm gonna have to go in as well to my sheet and change some of the proficiency saving throw stuff. Right? It's probably is it better to do it like that or to edit 
an item and have it do it when I equipped it. Uh, it depends on which part of uh, what you're getting. Uh, for plus one to saving throws, you do not have proficiency in and stuff like that. Like, should I just go and just give myself that in the back end? Yes. Okay. Yeah, into your settings. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Spoonbreaker, your, uh, staff has been changed. Let me find your, oh, that's not it. Find your plate, and I will add the two-item attunement to that. You know what? It might be easier uh, if you want. It's just want me to do it after the after the game. There's a yeah. lot of fucking a lot of shit to yeah, add yeah, and that's... change and whatnot. That would make sense to me. So, um, I'm gonna guess you guys are probably waiting until the others are resurrected to go see um, what's this fuck, right? Enderburn. Yeah. Yeah, I vote for that. All right. So in that case, we are going to fast forward to the next day. So please move ahead the uh, calendar, Mr. Richter, and yep. drop down the counter for days. 58 days remain. You guys awake the next day. Um, Wabu, uh... What are you doing? I am resurrecting the first person. Are they in my bag again? Nah, are they just, on the table? Just leave them on the table. Okay. I am resurrecting uh, whoever's closest when I walk in the door. And that is Phoenix. Yep. All right. Phoenix it is. All right. Phoenix. You'll uh, awake. Completely healed. Uh, you look around and you see Ash is still dead. I'm assuming the rest of you wanted to be there for him to uh, come back. Oh yeah, I'm definitely there. <clears throat> Might as well. I'm very uh, enamored by Wabu's magic. I'm always watching. As you awake... Uh... Phoenix, gasping for air. You look around, you see Ash's dead body next to you. You see Sulamine around you, Richter, Wabu, and a strange looking furry creature you've never seen before in plate armor. Oh. Oh, Phoenix will reach into his bag of holding. Pull out a bottle of liquor, just fucking pound half of it. Whoa, that's better. Oh, jeez. Did we win? Did we win? We're still alive or getting there. Who's the rabbit? Yo. It's me. It's Moonbreaker. Ah. With tits, though. So. And legs. Wabu's sitting there, hands on hips, smiling at his handiwork again. You didn't survive the battle either, I take it? Oh, no. Oh, dead like the rest of them. He got revived the fun way. Yeah, but now, I mean, I would never be a rabbit had I had not died. And I think this is pretty fucking awesome. You also have um, eight to ten nipples, by the way. Oh, Lord, you shouldn't have told me that. I know. Oh, God. So it's, he kind of looks around. So are we still in Rock Guard Garrison? No. Crim Gallier. Even better. Uh, I take it that's not good news for Rockard Garrison. Uh, I'm sorry, who? 
you know, the place where we were fighting to protect. Yeah, yeah, I'm just asking, like, who, because they don't exist anymore. Yes. That's what I figured. Unfortunately, um, Marshal Velius was here as well, and, uh, you know, we let him know, or them know, what's going on. Uh, the city's gone. Damn. Phoenix, lying next to you on the table, you notice a amulet. Seems to have a ruby in the center of what looks to be a large, or sorry, a uh, a bird of some sort. This necklace is gold and red. It also resembles the symbol of your deity, Ray. Uh, Phoenix will pick it up. Like, wow, what's this? Ah, yes. Uh... I've been identifying some of this material. There's been some very powerful items found, and I kind of flash my cloak and say, uh, this as well. Sulamine can give you the details, but uh, we've, we've picked up some new items, and I can get, relay any information needed. Phoenix, your uh, hand wraps have uh, had some new powers added, as well as you have a new handout. In your set area. Sick. Do keep in mind, though, that uh, these do take one attunement slot each, so uh, you guys were, when you died, you were unattuned to your items anyways, other than your artifact. Luckily, my arcane cannon took attunement, and that's not a problem anymore. Or not. So, what, who did you say symbol is on this? Uh, your deity, Ray. Oh, okay, yeah, I, I got confused. It's Saren Ray, but I didn't catch. Yeah. Yeah, uh, okay. Ray, Ray is a wild mount uh, name for Saren Ray. Oh, okay. Uh, Phoenix will kind of grab the amulet. Like, well, looks like this is for me. And he'll toss it on. As you put it on, um... For a moment, your entire body is wreathed in fire. It does not burn you, but you notice that uh, the spot on the table where we're resting, having just woke up, is instantly singed black and very weak, very quick. I will get off the table. As the flames subside, uh, you feel your power has in. Oh, dope. Level 18. Let's go. No. You feel that you will be able to move better in combat in terms of maneuvering and using your enemies body weight against themselves. Tulamine, I assume that you are going to put yours on. Can Richter tell me anything about it first? I can tell you everything about it. Awesome. It is uh, an artifact of... Uh, I believe it's the work yours is the Raven Queen, is it not? Oh, uh, no, Corellius. Right. Um, he can tell you that... Oops, I gave too much information on that one. I'm glad I didn't show it to you yet. Oh, 
Oh, let's see. I'm gonna make you uh, better at sneaking. Also going to make you uh, a very imposing figure on the battlefield. Uh, we'll also give you the ability to, uh, to cast a illusion spell of some sort. Got it. And what kind of piece of clothing is it? Is it does it replace one or is it? It's a mantle. You can wear it uh, over your. Oh, sorry. No, it is. Technically, it is scale armor. But it also, uh, like player knowledge, it doesn't limit the amount of dexterity um, like most scale armor does. Gotcha. Okay. I will put it on. You have a new handout, and your bow is going to be a little stronger now as well. That's cool. Thank you. Which again, I will update your sheets uh, after the session for. The so, uh, though it is early in the morning, Arcane Bob uh, was not in here, but he comes back with uh, with a cleric. Just because I don't want to wait another day to, to resurrect the last of your group. It says, uh, Wabu, do you have the last ingredients you need for another resurrection spell? Uh, uh, yes, yeah, yes, yes, but it is only for the boring one. The, uh, the cleric smiles and she says, well, Arcane Bob has told me what you used uh, for the non-boring one. I'm assuming uh, you would rather have that? We could do a trade. Wabu's gonna look over uh, at Richter for approval on this one because he's already he doesn't want to get his hand slapped. And by approval from Richter, Ash, how do you feel? Which one would you prefer? I'm game. Yeah, it's fully your choice. So if you want it, it's yours. If you don't, you're the same. Yeah, I'll take it. Let's go fun. Roll the dice. Okay. okay. Well, uh, I mean, are you you trading her that 25,000 gold worth of stuff or the 1,000 gold worth of stuff then? Oh, yeah. Rabu, Wabu doesn't care. It's This okay. is fun. You got Rabu'd. <laughs> yeah, Rabu'd. <laughs> he thinks it's a fair deal. He's like, Lord, this is a, he's like, here, take this one and hucks at him. It's boring anyway. It's like, gimme, 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 gimme. Very well. She hands you the ingredients. Once again, you begin to do your your ritual. And as you cast this spell, I needed 200. One seventy-three. Oh, the same as uh the other person. I mean, you already got one of them. Want to do a try and see if you can get something else? I mean, that's not up. That's not up to me. <laughs> Sorry, what'd you say, Ash? Reroll, reroll. Okay. Inspiration point. Hey, Blair. What's up? 
for my wraps under two set items attuned it says plus four charges does that mean i get an additional four charges for my flurry of blows so i have eight now or is that just not change because i had four already uh uh hand wraps okay so see how your hand wraps the the uh original one just says you have four charges and then yeah. under two set it says plus four charges yeah eight charges total okay so is it the same for the dex and charisma then so i get like a total of plus two from the hand wraps indeed okay dope as well as your damage dice goes up yeah i got i got that i just when i originally read the plus one dex and charisma i was like oh okay that doesn't change and then, and then I got to the plus four charges. That's like, oh wait, maybe it does change. Yep. No, it is. It's extra. And then you can also use charges uh, to burn uh, as if they were key to use deflect missile um, on some on um, somebody else who's going to get hit within your range. Dope. Instead of just yourself, because I'm pretty sure your uh, deflect missile is only works for yourself, right? Yeah. And then it just says if. Yeah. Uh, ignore that. Okay. Oh, the fact that you gave me the ability to do a plus one arcane abeyance and put a spell slot higher than level five in that is chef's kiss. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. I wasn't kidding, man. Like, y'all becoming gods. I have so many amazing ideas. Yeah, not you much. know, it would have been cool if we had these for that battle. It would have, yeah. But y'all y'all did a bad scouting job instead of going to get your loot, which honestly I expected you guys to be like, loot, loot. But people. it is what it is. Yeah, I mean I didn't know about that shit, so not much I could have done about it. Yeah, and then uh it uh, the same thing for your amulet, where it says one to constitution, one to intelligence, and you know, extra charging and yeah, that stacks as well. Make sure to, you know, add your AC, your your extra con, your intelligent. Wicked. And your new abilities as well. Uh, let's see. What, is th what does three charges mean? Is that for the... Uh, I believe like... that item has charges as well, does it not? What it does... Yeah. In your Dawnflower Amulet, when another creature you can see within 30 feet of you oh, fails okay. a saving throw, you can expend one of the jewel's charges as a reaction to enable that creature to roll the saving throw. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I just saw three charges alone as its own dot. This one... This one's not organized as nicely as the other one. <laughs> Listen, man. <laughs> <laughs> Shit was a lot of work in it, and I did it a long time ago, all right? Long time ago. I don't remember what I did yesterday. Never mind fucking six months ago. Um, Yeah, Ash, you come back as... Oh, man, a 13? It's kind of boring. What's a 13? Dwarf. Dwarf. 7 foot 8 to under 5 feet. <laughs> wow. One of us. All right, you uh, you come back as a dwarf. Oh, uh, wait, why does it say that makes absolutely no sense? Dwarf and then hill. Oh, dwarf hill. You're a hill dwarf. Got you. Okay, that makes sense. So, Ash, let me change your. I'm also gonna need a new picture for you as well. Oh, uh, I also need a wabu. A D2, please. Oh, dear. <laughs> Evens means you stay the same. Uh, yeah, I hope you're not so attached sex. to what you were before. Oh, oh he's just building suspense with a damn. Oh, man. let's go. <laughs> Ash, you awake. Um, and as you do, kind of look over and you see you see your body and as you try to sit up 
you realize you are sitting up, and yet you seem so much shorter than you did before. And as you go to talk, it comes out in a strange sound. You sound like a man. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna give myself the pat down, being like, yeah, because she's a woman. But if I'm over there, and I'm over here, and then I'm gonna climb off the table, and then I can't see over the table because I'm under five feet now. I mean, you can still see over it, but it's uh, you know, the, you've been in here before. This table was you know barely above your waist height, and now it's damn near at your chin. Yeah. I'm gonna try to jump up, like, like to look at the table. I'm so confused. Your, you, you, as you're moving around, uh, you feel something scratching your chest, and as you look down, notice you no longer have chesticles, and there is long hair sprouting from your chin that is now scratching your your chest. Wait, sorry, Savage. Are you saying she's a man now? Yep. But she rolled a one like everybody else did. Yes, and everybody who got a one got was a, a diff- female. No, they got the opposite of their gender. I said that an even is what you want to be the same gender. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. All good. Oh, as you... Regard your naked self with a uh, extra dangly bit hanging down a little lower where uh, you did not have dangly bits before. You are extremely confused. How would you like to react to this? Uh, I'm going to grab a a piece of clothes or cloth or something to cover myself. Or I'm gonna like wrap it around so that's also covering where my boobs used to be. And then I'm going to look around the room to make sure that Bethany is not here. She is not. Start to wonder what you're going to tell her next time you see her. Yeah, buddy. Wabu, what is your reaction to this? Um, he's like, oh, you're a dwarf now. He's like, you look sturdy and kind of gives a little bump to, to Ash. I'll grunt like a man. Grunt like a man. Well, try it on. Walk around a little bit. How's it feel? Feels good. Feels short. Ah, uh, you'll get used to it. Down here? What was that, Ash? Has the air always been so thick down here? Unfortunately, yes. We don't get the best drafts. <clears throat> but it's not the size of the legs, it's how you use them. <clears throat> I'll just nod and try to find more clothes, because obviously Ash's clothes is not going to fit me. <laughs> Well, next to uh, the next to you on the table, um, your dead body, I should say. You also notice a strange needle, and it's got like a uh, a round tip at one side. Around the tip is the symbol of a Vandra. I'll pick it up. Richter, you see her pick it up. What 
much to do. And I give them all the information. I mentioned that I've identified some things and I uh, see what you got there and give all the information I can. As you regard this thing and he's informing you on what it is, realize that <clears throat> it tells you this is called the Tattoo of Three Prayers. It's an artifact crafted for the Chosen of Avandra. Cool. There's some illusion magic upon it. Uh, Other than that, he doesn't glean a whole lot of information. However, uh, he does tell you that if you are to press it to your skin, it will become a tattoo. The needle will vanish. Uh, I'll nod, because I used to have a protection tattoo, so I understand. If you look under item handouts, and then you're set, you will see that your... Uh, your amulet has got some new abilities, I believe. Or can I not do that? Yes. Sorry, your uh, your tattoo uh, is there, and your walking stick uh, abilities has changed. Uh, I will change your sheet after the game. Okay. Add Sounds the good. extra thing. But definitely read that through, so you see what it does. So, now that you are all awake, Arcane Bob says, Ah! Well, it's good you're all back now. I assume you'll be wanting to see the Underbaron. Unless there's something else I can do for you before you leave. Uh, it would be at this point in time that Richter probably realizes he doesn't have any of his money. Let me know what you need, I'll share. In no, he I... doesn't really need anything, but it's. I think he hasn't really figured out that even some of his items are gone yet. And he's like, hey, wait. Where's all my money? Wabu, when, when you uh, when you brought us over from uh, from the garrison, did did we have our things? And as I'm kind of searching through my stuff. Uh, j j just what you you had on. Just we we didn't we don't have any money. So, like, characters to characters, do we know that Saztam stole our money? I mean, as you, uh, if you would like to go through your bag of holding, if you turn, if you guys turn your bag of holding inside out, everything inside of it will fall out, and you will see exactly what you have. Whoa. Uh, yeah, I think we, I would do this, because I, I would then figure out that my broom of flying is gone, my dimensional shackles are gone, um... Did you take my rig of negation? Uh, I believe it was something no. you were wearing. He left it on. I didn't have the ring of negation checked because I'm not wearing it, but it was in my bag. And now it's gone. Bag. So he he took it out of my bag of holding? Yep. Anything that, that you were not wearing, uh, he took. Except, uh, uh, except what we went through last time with the potions that he didn't take. Uh, the ones he did take. Yeah, so I'll let people know that I've been robbed. I was like, I think we were looted, boys. And girls, as I look towards Ash and Spoodbreaker, confused. Uh, Phoenix will, I lost my name for a second there. Phoenix will take another swig out of his whiskey bottle and he's like, 
<laughs> what happens when we defeat people in battle? Of course we were looted. I'm surprised we have as much as we do. Yeah, the bastards took by a broom of flying, though. I think it was a one of oh. a kind. Next time, don't die. And he'll take another swig of booze. <laughs> Richter will sigh and just agree. I can't believe Or maybe died. do die and Wabu will bring you back as somebody else. <laughs> But as you all look through your bags of holding and discover what is missing, what has been taken, realize that uh, other than Suamine, y'all are broke as shit. Um, many of your potions and items have vanished. But he did leave you with a few things. After all, what fun would it be? Don't have at least a little bit of a challenge. Arcane Bob pipes up though and says, uh, one question. Does anybody know what those numbers in the sky are about? Uh, well, I haven't been outside since I opened my eyes, so I you've can't been... really help you with that. Yeah, you've I'm been just drinking. trying to get my buzz back up. He takes another big swig. <laughs> I kind of lean over to Ash and say, I think Bob's been drinking the potions of speed again. I think it's a countdown, but I'm not sure for what. I remember the tower, the uh, clock tolling. Uh, at one point, in, to mark midnight, and, and the number counted down by one, but I, I don't know what it refers to. Wabu shrugs. He's like, a dragon didn't make it, so it don't matter to me. Mm, let me take a look. And Richter's got interested, and he'll go take a look. Sure. I'll take you about uh, 45 minutes or so to get out of town. And uh, as you look outside, I believe it should say 58 right now, right? Yeah. Uh, isn't it 57 if we're all alive? No, a cleric came in and uh, traded uh, Wabu oh, so right. he could do another Sorry. spell that day. Mm -hmm. Is anybody going with Richter? Yeah, Phoenix would have went for the walk. Yeah, I'll go too. Stretch his legs. Get the rigor out. At this point, you you definitely feel that it is counting down days, but to what? You don't know. However, the the dream, uh, Tulamine and Wabu, the one you had, kind of reverberates in your minds, and Richter and Phoenix, the what your afterlife looked like, how things are seeming very dour. Kind of plays on your mind. This isn't a very ill omen. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, I mean, I can't imagine imagine fiery numbers in the sky are counting down to anything good. What's the worst that it could be? Uh, Armageddon, I would say, is probably the worst it could be. Oh, shit. And, uh, with that, uh, you see Phoenix take a swig of his whiskey. He looks kind of disappointed kind of holds the bottle upside down shoves it back in his bag of holding pulls out another one <laughs> uncorks it <laughs> takes the swig at least that son of a bitch didn't steal any of my whiskey Oh, 
And we don't even know who stole our stuff, right? We just know we were looted. Because we knew Saztan was there, but that was about it. Correct. Okay. What would pay attention, he would know. But what I mean, is in his own little world. Yeah. If King Cucklord was there, it's a good bet he's the one that's got all our stuff. None of the other guys are even alive. They're just resurrected chumps that do his bidding. I hate that guy. I'm just glad no one's reached the conclusion that it was the rogue traveling with you that survived. <laughs> that is a valid point. <laughs> Next thing, Suleiman's getting waterboarded. Where's our shit? Right. Waterboarding would be the least of his problems. I can resurrect people. <laughs> he can die as many times as he needs. Oh my god. Damn. Wow, well, savage. <laughs> Wabu getting dark over here. <laughs> dark Wabu. See you tomorrow when I kill you again. <laughs> But, yeah, I mean, Phoenix isn't overly concerned about his money, you know? Like, it sucks and all, but it's money. He's a monk, you know? Yeah, Richter's just mad that he lost his broom of flying. That's it. Everything else. Yeah, that had sentimental value, so it makes sense. Yeah, he's like, he's doing, and now he's mad that Saz Tam stole it. Well, you have to kill him to get it back. Indeed. Uh, the good news is, if I kill him, I have a nice new broom of flying. <laughs> and Phoenix kind of winks at uh, Richter. <laughs> I'd let you take it for a spin. <laughs> Can't believe we're back in Grimgall here. <laughs> under his breath. So, as you guys have realized this, at uh, it's counting down days, you're all resurrected. You have your second piece to your artifact set. What would you like to do? Uh, I would like to understand the second paragraph of the thing I posted in the chat. Hey. All right, give me a sec. I think when I originally made yours, I think I fucking changed it and I might not have just taken out that last sentence. Yeah, it Give doesn't a make second. a whole lot of sense. Either that, or, <laughs> either that, or it's got something to do with your artifact set. It reads like you wrote it with one eye closed. I'm not going to lie. A lot of these got done like between midnight and fucking 8 o'clock in the morning. I, I, I remember one day I didn't go to bed until almost 9.30 in the morning because I was working on this shit. Yeah, that's fair. Um... Alright, let's see. Two. A creature prone, they are larger, smaller. Creature must make dex or strength saving throw, DM's discretion. So that one is, that, that part is based on, you know, like, kind of their size and shit, right? So if it's a big-ass fucking creature, like a, uh, I don't know, like a giant or an ogre, you're not gonna be able to knock them prone, uh, with, if they're, they, they're, sorry, they won't be trying to dodge. They won't be using dex, they'll be using strength, but, as for the rest of it, uh, you understand what the, the DC part means, right? Yeah, that's for the knock prone, right? Okay, yeah. Yeah. 
on a success, they are not not prone. Any creature of choice. In it. Okay. Okay, that sentence belongs to the third part, or the three set, three attunement. Uh, okay, uh, so it should so, just yeah. end after the dex or strength save section. Basically, it's going to allow you to uh, heal somebody when you, they do, or when you do damage uh, in the cone. So it won't yeah, hit but your I allies. Can't. Yeah, it, it won't yeah, hit your allies, but. Yet. But it'll heal them instead. Okay. Fixed. But that's that's okay. So but it should like it should from what I've got written here, it should end up prone. So any creatures of your choice in this effect should not exist. Sorry, what now? So where it starts at any creatures, yeah, I should yeah. just delete from there. No, I, I've already I've already edited it. Don't worry about that. Just yeah, to... but I've got it I've got it in uh my other shit oh, as well. Oh yes, yes. Definitely. Okay. What happened to our griffins? Oh, hey, there you are. Yeah, I've been trying to get my headset to work. I asked like four times, and then I figured out that maybe they're not ignoring me. Maybe they actually can't hear me. Nah, we just hate you, Ash. That's all. Yeah, I'm a dwarf now that I'm one of the guys, you know. <laughs> what right. of us? Funny, there was only one female in the group, and now there's still only one female in the group. <laughs> yeah. Or is it two? Well, the other one was Marshall Velius. Right, yeah. Uh-huh. Marshalina. And me. Yep. Now, yeah, now there is one, one of the one girls. Hey, you're one of the only girls. <laughs> oh, my God. Ash and I could start, like, an OnlyFans. Ash, Ash is now a dude. <laughs> oh, Ash is a dude now? Yeah. Fuck, dude. What I said, you're the only girl. Oh, I, I guess I misunderstood. I thought... Ash was also. No, nope, she is a male hill dwarf. Feels bad. Speaking of which, I should at least change uh, the racials for Ash. I added my new picture in. Can you send it to me in Discord as well? Yeah. Please and thank you. Also, a uh, quick question. Uh huh. Uh, if our constitution uh, modifier goes up, does our health go up as well? Uh, yes, by two per level. Or one per level, sorry. If the modifier goes up to an even number. Or sorry, if the... If the modifier goes yes, up. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Then yes. Yes, bye. Keep that in mind, everyone. If your shit gives you a constitution modifier uppage mm, I mean you, you've been doing D&D &D for like five years so you you can change your sheet I don't think with the complexity most people know how to do all the changes properly so I'm probably gonna have to do more fuck yeah alright let's see sorry that I'm a baby hey man I mean it, you, you were the newest you have the least to apologize for <laughs> I mean, everybody starts somewhere. Okay, so... Like, um, I don't think... I don't think in Heroes of Hanesh I ever updated any of my shit on my sheet. Mitch did all of that. Because <laughs> I didn't know. Like, it was not until pretty well when we started Age of Heroes is when I started doing all that shit myself because I understood it more. Oh, no. Hey, Ash? Yes? You lose proficiency in athletics. Oh, dear. Because you got that through being a Goliath. Yeah. But I get night vision now, right? Uh, I think so. Just, I'll, I'll let you know in a minute. I'm just deleting your barbarian shit. Powerful no, builds, you don't have that anymore. Aim. Oh, what's Stone's Endurance? The damage resistance thing. Yeah, yeah. It's, a it's a Goliath trait. 
Oh, I know it's Goliath. I'm just... Take damage, you can use your reaction to roll a d12, add your con mod to the number rolled, reduce damage by that total. Yeah, I don't I think I, I, have you ever used that? No, it's on my cheat sheet, but I've never actually used it. Holy shit! I'm a dumbass. A d12 plus con mod, which would... Damn, a max of 17, that would have helped you out so much. Alright, now I gotta find Hiltor. No, I want the race, not... Oh, there it is. Why I was looking in the wrong spot. Okay. Hey, Ash, do me a favor and close your sheet so it doesn't keep switching when I'm trying to add things. Please and thank you. No worries. No worries. By the way, for those of you who need to, uh, whose size has changed, uh, you guys can add that in and all that other shit in your, um, at the top of the sheet. Uh, once I'm done fucking with your shit, your height and, and whatnot as well. As well as weight, too. Yes, you do have dark vision. Look at that. Yay! So don't forget, Ash, change your cheat sheet, too. Yeah. Oh, look at that. You have proficiency with more hammers now, too. Congratulations. Yay. And do you want to know how to use smith tools or brewer supplies or masons get to brewer supplies and the other one was smith tools brewers smiths or masons of which you get two i'll take brewers and smith please let's go make my booze Yeah, you still need to actually get the items to, uh, to use them, but you know how to use them. Ooh, I, I get a reduced in my, in my speed, too. Yep, your speed, your speed changes to 25. Darn. Welcome to my world. The stubby leg land.
Uh, we're not going to change the languages. Abrace, you are a hill dwarf. Yeah, dwarven toughness. My. And you are level 17, so that increased your hit point maximum to 198. Um, right now I have a, uh, a cap on my health, or I guess that cap is gone now, right? On my health, since then I've been resurrected. Yeah. So on my bio page, it, it shows what it should be. It's two something. I just can't get to it right now. So you're on it. HP 212 plus 17 is 229. Alright, so that is done. What is it you guys wish to do now? Well, with the garrison, with uh, Rock Art Garrison fallen, and knowing where some of these people are, maybe we should loop back with Velius and just try to see what um, they're doing from the, the town perspective, but. I don't know, I think, I think we have a couple options. Either we need to prepare for an attack or we need to hit them. Would be Richter's uh, idea. Uh, I got a question. No, I don't. Never mind, false alarm. I think yeah, I need let's go. To that's yeah, that's probably a conversation you should go have. <laughs> but somebody needs to come with me because somebody needs to back up the fact that I race changed when I was rezzed, and I think it should be Wafu. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Wafu Wabu, is definitely a good choice for somebody to yep. help you in a conversation. I am happy to help there. And she's also, Bethany's already seen somebody else get reincarnated so that is true hey spoonbreaker you know, it's been a couple days you hit that long rest button eh? yeah so you guys head to uh <clears throat> the citadel um you're granted entry although uh they do give some sidelong glances at the new ash and And as you guys make your way through, um, you are led up to the throne room. Bellius and Underbaron, Underbaron seem to be locked in a heat discussion. Bellius calling for uh, an attack on the army before they get to Rex Centrum. Well, Under Baron is saying, uh, we don't have the strength, and, uh, maybe you should get the last piece of the artifact set so you can be of more help. Uh, the conversation does not, uh, slow or calm down as you all enter. simply continue uh who was saying we should get the other artifacts under baron 
Uh, Phoenix isn't even going to wait for anybody to fucking look up to him. He's just going to call out that he agrees with the Under Baron. We failed. We failed without our sets. We can't afford to fail again. Hmm. Sorry, I'm dying. Be equipped for a fight. Hmm. Marshall Valius spins. Yes, I. Uh, sorry, I did a man voice again. Yes, I know we failed, but we need to get back up and go back at them. If Rexentrum falls, there will be nothing to stop them. Well, well, I mean, maybe if we there's... fall, then there'll definitely be nothing to stop them. We can't go in half cocked. We have to be ready. I think you're both right. I think um, we can do focus on perhaps getting the legendaries, but warning a warning must be sent to Rex Entrum so they are at least prepared. Um, players to player, um, I'm away the next two sessions because I'm traveling. Um, I could propose that Richter goes and like helps warn Rex Centrum and then comes back or I can just autopilot doesn't matter to me um Under Baron's gonna say ah I already sent them warning you really think I wouldn't I just let them flounder as soon as I heard about them I done tell them well we do have access to some teleportation nearby in Blumenthal um fairly close to Rexentrum, so if we did need some fast troop movement, we could help organize some of that while still focusing on ourselves on the legendary items. He thinks for a moment. I... Not a horrible idea. Marshal Valius pipes up. If you're willing to do that, maybe I could go to Blumenthal and, and help them. Uh, I would hope that if you are to find the last of the artifact pieces, you may be willing to bring one back if it has the uh, symbol of Arathis on it. Be willing to do that. Of course. We're all on the same team. If we find your item, we'll bring it to you. But my people, they, they've been through so much. If I send what troops I got left to help Rexentrum, there's no one left to help us. Rungalier yep. will eventually fall, and once again... There, there's nothing but villages. That's for you and your people to decide. We can't tell you what to defend. Bellius pipes up. The hell I can't. Listen, Underbaron, it's... If you do not send them troops, they will fall. Ah. Be honest, probably gonna fall anyway. At this point, we all know it's just a waiting game. Whatever that countdown's for, it's gonna be the end of us, and you know it. Under Baron, no, I will not hear it. Not today. Belius kind of uh, gives a sigh of defeat. Fine. I'll be in my chambers. As she walks by your group, without breaking stride, she says, whispers, I should say, you know him better than I. Please convince him. And she continues to walk out of the room.
uh, Underbaron, you, uh, after all the madness we've <clears throat> had in this city, uh, shouldn't we be trying to protect the lives we know are at risk today? Grimgallier, while certainly has had its losses, um, is in a position to help someone else. You should definitely be considering this. Roll me a persuasion at disadvantage. Not bad. Not bad at all. And you be thinking that I should have my men throw their lives away. For an unwinnable fight. Tell me why. Why I should do this. And not... Don't be giving me that... Help them nonsense. Because if we lose, everyone dies. How long will it take that army to get to Rex Centrum? Well... They're all undead. This ain't needing to sleep. Probably be there in another day and a half, two days. So, he thinks for a moment. There's vampires among them. They can't be out in the sun. But depends on their speed. Send a scout out to find out. He calls over a guard. And, uh... He says, uh... Get me a scout. I need to see if they pause during the day. Yes, Under Baron. He says, and, uh... He takes off. Going looking for a scout. Is, uh, you know, I wouldn't be doing this at all if it wasn't you. You lot to save Grimgallier. If there's anybody else, I'd tell them to hoop their head. Well, we appreciate the help. But don't forget, his army is made of undead. Every city he takes down, his army grows. I... At this point, you guys can hear wings flapping. You guys turn to look, and you see a griffin taking off towards the uh, western gate. He should be back down. He should be back by uh, sundown. Come back and see me then, and I'll have an answer for you. Thank you. I... And Phoenix will turn. <clears throat> if we do all survive this, the people will talk of the of the battles. And uh, definitely people will sing the praises of Grimgallier and the Underbaron for coming to the aid of Rexentrum. I certainly won't leave that out of any discussions I have. And I also leave. He says nothing to uh, what you said. But uh, you can roll me an insight. <clears throat> <laughs> Turn too fast. Yeah, you uh you turn too fast and uh as you kinda look over your shoulder, if he had any reaction, it's already gone. 
Did I see him react? I was talking to him. Yeah, but Richter said it after you already turned uh, to leave. Fair. I bet Ash saw it. She's got man eyes now. She sees everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What did I see? Um, oh, nothing. I was just trolling. I mean, you, the player wasn't even paying attention, so no, Ashton's shit. Yeah, exactly. Sorry. I was trying to figure out where our our, our griffins are, because Vulch died on the field, right? Oh, Red Eye also died. Right. And there was one other one that died. Red Eye died. The yeah. one I was writing. So did we, I guess we didn't even res them because we didn't have their bodies? Nope. Fuck. Only there was, uh... Only there were some more ingredients for resurrections, huh? Oh, that would, Yeah, that'd be, be pretty cool. Pretty interesting, interesting to reincarnate a griffin. Uh, that, might go, that might go pretty poorly. Yeah, it turns into a fucking chicken. Give it a shot. Oh, no, it turns into a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, it's humanoid now. It just wants to kill every horse it sees. That would be such an angry griffin. What have you done to me? <laughs> oh, yeah, man. It, it, would, it would attack immediately. But ride horses, I eat them. What do you guys wish to do for the rest of the day until sundown? I need to find Bethany and obviously clothes, because I still haven't found clothes that fits me. Uh, you know what? Uh, anybody who doesn't have clothes that would fit them, uh, as soon as you get into the Citadel, they would have given you some, for sure. Oh, okay. Can't exactly go before the, uh, the royalty, uh, you know pretty much buck-ass naked, or in a towel, or anything. Did Spoon Spoonbreaker even put on a towel? Is he just walking around fucking... He's got his plate. Hurry? He's got his plate. Fair. In all the wrong spots. And I mean... Uh... How, how did you change your, uh... Your height and weight information, Spoonbreaker and Ash? I'm working on mine. Okay, Spoonbreaker? Uh, working on it. Are Translation, you... no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you at least roughly the same size as uh, your Dragonborn counterpart or no? No. Well, we're a Heron God and a Dragonborn are nowhere near the same size. I mean, they could be close to it. You have to be like the fucking Michael Jordan of Herringon. Aren't they <laughs> short? <laughs> yes, they they are short. But at the same time, if clothes are, you know, only slightly too big, you can still wear them. They're not going to be comfortable. and They're going to be hanging off you like a fucking skinny dude wearing my clothes. But I mean, you can still put them on. Whereas... Ash's original form versus a dwarf, I mean, that's that's a four-foot fucking difference. Whereas a dragonborn, I believe, is roughly only, like, six or seven feet, and a heron gone, I think, is... Bro, I was 285 five. pounds and, like, six foot. Now I'm four foot five and 85 pounds, bro. What okay, do you well, want from me? There you go. That's what I was asking. That's a big difference. I mean, not, not, to, not the same as, like, a fucking Goliath turning into a dwarf. Yeah. Well, he got a lot furrier too. Yeah. And cuter. <laughs> ooh, ooh. No. No. But kind of though. So, you go looking for Bethany. Yeah, with Wabu. With Wabu. Uh, yeah, what are the rest of you doing? Yeah, 
I could what? use Fletcher. Sorry, go ahead. A what? Fletcher. A what? A bow and arrow <laughs> maker, man. A bow ah, and arrow gotcha. Maker. <laughs> I know the word. I just couldn't place what it meant right now. Um. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'll I go with you, I guess. I got nothing to do, really. Yeah, Richter's the same. He's just tinkering with his severed arm, kind of walking around with everyone. I'm exp I'm excited to take Spoonbreaker to a bar. Oh yeah, see what she does. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> got to put a leash on that one. Well, we could split the group into three parties then. Two of you go to the one place, two of you go to a bar, and then the other do the other two go to the Fletcher if you want. Works for me. Well, we already know you're going with Wabu. I met the rest of them. The ones who are still silent. I mean, we got time. We we can go with the Fletcher and then go to a bar. All together. Yeah. We'd kind of like to see that. <laughs> All right. So Wabu and Ash are going to arrive at their destination. Um, Wabu and Ash, you guys walk down towards the barracks. And as you get down there, you see that the tone is rather dire. Dour, sorry. The, uh, n nobody's happy and cheering, and even the people who see you, they kind of nod and or salute uh, to you, Wabu. Though, they're curious about the other one. But as you guys wander through the barracks, um, Ash, you do spot Bettany playing a hand of cards. Um... How many people are at the table? Three others. I'll sit. Mm, I don't have any money to bank gamble with, so but I'll I'll take a seat at the table. All right. Bethany says, "Ah, uh, feeling you in." Uh, my stakes are too high to be dealt into this game, my dear. Stakes are too high. <laughs> high roller, I guess, eh, boys? They all kind of chuckle. Does she recognize Wabu is, like, behind me? Uh, you know what? I was going to say no, <laughs> but I forgot you're about four feet shorter. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wabu! Is, oh, is, is Ash back? I'm here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. You're uh you're the you not the right uh you know, you don't got the right parts, you're four foot shorter, like no. Good try though. We uh had some unexpected trouble in a town over and uh many of us lost our lives. Got resurrected but you know the fun way I'll kind of like laugh and look at Wabu yeah the <laughs> fun way wait you're, you're telling the truth I'm afraid so sweetheart Wabu what did you do What do you mean? What do you, I, what do you mean? I, I brought her back. Ta-da! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you see Bettany's uh, eyes fill with tears. Ash, I want you to roll me a d20. Want e you really, really want even. You got lucky. She's bisexual. <laughs> Yay. Noise. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, 
as Bethany looks at you, Ash. But is she into dwarves? That's a question. She's into hearts, Blair. I wouldn't be angry with her if she wasn't okay with this. I just wanted her to know that I was still alive and that I'd understand if our future plans have changed. Well, to begin with, uh, the, the tar tears start to uh, roll and she kind of starts sobbing. Ash. And do you, do you tell her that? Yes, I will tell her that and I will put my hand on top of hers. She swats your hand away and then damn near tackles you with a very strong hug. I'm short and swoat, so I, don't, I think I'm going to land on my ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, she pretty oh, much wait, knocks wait, her chair wait, over wait, backwards. Wait. And... Um, she continues to cry as she kind of lays on top of you, hugging. I'll hug her back, obviously. Um, very quickly, <clears throat> excuse me, your beard is, uh, wet with... And, uh, uh -oh. sh shut the fuck up. As she cries... Yes. Christ. Can't have anything nice with this guy around for fuck's sakes. <laughs> Who, me? <laughs> uh, as she cries, she says, Fine, it's fine. I love you no matter what. Squeeze her harder. As she kind of uh, <clears throat> finally lets go and starts to stand up and, and help you do your feet. She says, uh, she kind of wipes uh, one of her tears away. Says, you know, and she kind of looks around and she starts to lead you over into another area of the barracks as she says I've never been with a dwarf before first time for everything Wabu they what are you doing as they start to head off being oblivious to you know everything <laughs> Wabu, Wabu's just gonna smile and wave have a good time uh, a lot of the uh men and women in the barracks begin to laugh. And as you guys enter this uh, one small room, there are several people in there, and Bethany just says, Hey! Get out! But we're now! Uh, okay, 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 Bethany. My god. I'll speak to everybody on their way out. You what? Wink. Uh, as they kind of, like, walk around the two of you and exit, uh, Bethany shuts the door. And things occur. Give me a performance. <laughs> of course. Oh, God. Like, I know how to use any of these things. Exactly. In fact, give me a disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you do an alright job. Um, the feeling is quite a bit different than what you're used to. Um. Oh. Hmm. I want you to give me a D100. Uh, this time it is not odds versus evens. You want... 
a 26 or higher. Okay. You, you do a, a you know, an alright job. He, uh, you know, isn't going to brag about it to her friends or anything, but um, after the deed is done, you guys kind of like lie down on the bed and relax. Uh, she, you used to be very tall, so she used to put her head on your chest. Uh, unfortunately, that is not exactly easy to do now that you're a dwarf, so she ends up uh, <clears throat> having you lay your head uh, on her. And she says, uh, I really wish we could just stay here forever. Yeah, me too. But fortunately, duty calls, and I have a feeling we're going to be leaving again soon. You know, if this war doesn't go the way we're hoping, our plans for retirement are never going to happen. And you can feel, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. You can feel her, her chest kind of heaving a little bit um, as she tries to hold back uh, a sob. Oh, I have my bets on us. I hope so. So where are you going when you leave this time? East. Um, southeast. The group and, and I keep having visions of somewhere where we need to go. Uh, with the army now to the west, it looks like travel that direction might be a little bit safer. That's any consolation. See. Well, really hope you come out of this alive. Uh, with Wabu on our team, I'm sure I'll come back alive. Not quite sure in what state, though. I'll just a chuckle. So apparently, we're waiting on word for. what this army is going to do. Sounds like Underbaron has not made up his mind yet. Have you seen him since you've been back? Um, yeah, I, uh, we just came from there and we're trying to get him to rally some forces to, to help out. Hopefully he, uh, he sides with us and doesn't change his mind. So you're trying to get him to send the last of the forces after the army? Yeah. Unless you got a better idea, we're kind of short on that right now. <clears throat> I see. Well, if he does send us... I hope I make it through to see you again. I wish you could come with us. Me too. But my duty is here. This army. Till this is over. I'll nod. And are you and her going to stay there? For the uh, <clears throat> remainder of the afternoon. Um. No, I'm gonna go for <laughs> I'm gonna go for round two, and then uh, get her to come to the bar with me to meet up with the others. Yeah, you gonna go for round two? I'm gonna try. Welcome to being a uh, welcome to being a guy. Give me a con uh, con constitution save, please. <clears throat> oh, come on. 
Also, fair warning, first day with a new dick, round one probably did not take very long. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. The bet he's probably still, uh, we'll say, in wanting. <laughs> no. uh, as you go for round two, give me another performance. This time, uh, you know what, I think it's going to be a disadvantage for a while. It's brand new. You gotta learn how to use it wrong i mean you got a plus nine though look at that this time it goes much better uh apparently getting that uh quick first nut out the way uh and a little just a little bit of experience has uh has taught you a couple things it uh, it goes rather well good hey wabu For both minutes <laughs> wabu this uh yep yeah, this is taking a little bit of time. What are you, are you waiting for, or are you taking off? Um, I'll wait. I'll wait for. Her. I don't. I don't really know what's going on between the two of them, because you know. So, and I said I'd come help her. So I don't know if it's solved her yet or not in my brain. Yeah, for the first half an hour, you really don't hear anything coming from the room. You're just kind of hanging out in the barracks, uh, watching them play cards. However, the uh, the next. I Wabu should start rolling fucking perception checks to see if anything distracts him. <laughs> like, literally. <laughs> like, roll perception to see if anything shiny distracts you and you forget Did a bunny walk to be waiting for Ash. Was there a rat? <laughs> After the first uh, half an hour or so, the next 45 minutes, you do manage to hear, uh, hear some sounds. You don't know what these sounds are. Can't tell if it's pleasure or pain. But you get distracted by the cheering of somebody who just won a hand of cards. They say, uh, hey, now we're missing one of our players. You want in? Ooh, cards? Okay, that sounds like fun. How do you, well, how does one play cards? Well, first, got money. He's like, pats, pats and stuff. Uh, nope. <clears throat> Tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll spot you two silver. Okay. So you guys can start playing. Um, you have proficiency in uh, three dragon ante. Uh, uh no, I don't. <clears throat> cool. Uh, I'm going to say roll me intelligence disadvantage. Uh, I'm, you know what? Let me actually, I will roll them some as well. You lose the first hand. You have one silver left. Let's go again. Oh, and uh, not a save, by the way. It was just an intelligence check. Oh. But give me another one. <clears throat> Hey, you know what? It's it's fine. It's fine. You know what? You're new. I can spot your gold. Pay me back with your winnings, right? Yeah, sure. Sounds like a good idea. All right. Give Very me, nice. Give me another one. All right. Still a disadvantage, yeah? Yeah. Shame, shame. Guys, what do you say we uh, we up the pot? You know, three silver uh, a hand. All right, yeah. Okay. Go ahead.
How's that going for you, Wabu? Man, you're having some bad luck, eh? Well, let's see. All right, you know what? Just beginner's bad luck. Give it one more try, right? Yeah. Can all we right. do all the money I have left? Yeah, let, you know what? That's fine. Do uh, six silver for that pot. Yeah? Yeah. Everybody, everybody's smiling. Yeah, sure. Here you roll. I'm going to use uh, luck. For another roll. Let's see. Well, well, technically, it doesn't matter. Technically, your other roll was a sixteen. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, we'll take that. Hopefully, that's good enough. Like, oh man, that's uh, a shame there, isn't it, Wabu? You you lost again. Wait, I lost. Give me an insight. Uh, this one is normal, right? Uh-huh. I'm going to use luck. <laughs> I want to know that I, he's trying to cheat me. There we go. Oh, they lying. Wabu's going to cross his arms. Hmm. I know I'm new, but I'm pretty sure that hand won last time. Ash, uh, you're coming out of the room just as uh, Wabu is, is saying that. I, he's pretty sure he won, but you watch as a couple of the other, uh, or one of the other guys starts raking in the pot. Can I grab the, the guy by the shoulder and just give him a squeeze? Sure. Not yeah, even reach. Barbarian. Yeah, you, uh, he, he's sitting, so, like, you know, his shoulder is pretty much where yours is right now, right? <laughs> As you, uh, you give his uh, shoulder squeeze. Uh, yeah, can I help you? Gentlemen, it looks like the turtle won that hand. They kind of look at each other, and Batney just scowls. All right, all right. I mean, doesn't matter though. I spotted him the gold. So he he reaches in, he takes his proper share back. And Wabu, you rake in. <clears throat> uh, let's see, there was three of them at six gold or six silver piece. Uh, so that's what uh, two point four gold. Uh, he spotted you two silver and a gold. So you walk out with. One gold and two silver. Wabu's well, just gonna kind of go like, giggle and be like, haha, that was fun. We should do that again. Yeah, sure thing. They they kind of grumble and give uh, Ash and Betty the stink eye. <clears throat> Come on, Wabu. We're gonna go get some drinks. Yeah. And he's gonna raise his like little bag of winnings. So as uh, the two of you head out, um, I'm going to say the first half an hour uh, you guys were in there has passed, and we're going to flash over to the others. So you guys head over to the Fletchers. Pretty simple uh, transaction. What is it you're looking for, so I mean? Uh, regular arrows, about 80. Any arrows with the plus to them or anything you need. Um, are you aware that you are, you have your arrows, yes? Yeah, I do, but I'm running low. I'm just, like, I'm just making sure you weren't, like, trying to replace arrows that you still had. But no, if you're looking for more arrows, sure. <clears throat> uh, you know, I don't really know if I can spare them. They're supposed to be for the army. I'm more accurate than the army's best shot. Look, I can, uh, kind of leans in and whispers. There's, there's other people in the shop. Come around back. I'll do you a favor. I'll walk around back. He meet you back out there. 
Look, uh, I can sell you some of the, uh, the expensive ones, but, uh, the cheap ones I can't be doing. Fair enough. What do you have in the way of expensive? Uh, uh, it's gonna be a real expensive. You're, you're looking at about, uh, four gold and arrow for a plus three. Four gold and arrow? I... How many do you have? I could you just made, said I, I four could... golden arrows. Jeez. Gun. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you said four gold per. I arrow. did say four gold per <laughs> arrow. Oh god damn it! <laughs> I bought it. Does uh, I can maybe separate with sixty. I'll take all you can sell. Very well. Uh, he, he goes just into the, the back of the shop and grabs them and comes back out the back door. Hand you the arrows, you hand him the gold. Hi, anything else? Many thanks. Alright, you be having a good one. You as well. Uh, next, you guys try and find a bar. Uh, you realize that most of the taverns have been turned into uh, makeshift bread lines, for lack of a better word. But you do manage to find one. Yeah, I believe that was the case last time we were here, too. You managed to find one down in the nobles' quarter. Because, of course, you know, rich people never fucking starve. As you enter, uh, this place does seem to be rather uh, fanciful. Uh, you do see a few merchants still here. A couple noblemen. Um, but like everywhere else, the, the mood is dour. Uh, the bard on stage is playing a rather slow, melancholical song. What can I be doing for you? Uh, I'll take a round of ales. I and a bottle of your. Oh wait, hang on. Phoenix checks his pockets. Uh, this one's on me. Yeah, sorry about that. I forgot I was broke. <laughs> and Phoenix will step back. <laughs> Whatever my friends are drinking. I I can get that for you. Find yourselves a table and I'll bring it over. <clears throat> you guys uh, managed to find yourselves an empty table. And uh, nobody seems to really be drinking for fun. Seems like most of them are drinking to uh, drown their sorrows. Can I cut in for a sec, Savage? And this is just an administrative no player to players. I'd be happy to share gold with y'all. I would love to give y'all 10 gold for 10,000 each. 10,000 gold each? Yeah. Oh. I'll be happy to take it. I'm poor. Please, I feel bad it's like that y'all got jacked and I didn't. I'm just glad that you got away. Yeah, Me Phoenix, too. Phoenix looks to Suleiman and he's like, this is very, very generous. Uh, normally I would say I couldn't take it, but uh, given the circumstances, uh, I can't, uh, can't really refuse your offer. Yeah, I think y'all would do the same for me, so we're good. Of course we would. And Phoenix will take his 10,000 gold. Same with Richter. The bartender comes over. Bring drinks. <clears throat> uh... 
as you are all counting out 10,000 gold per person on the top of this table. Uh, you definitely caught the eye of some of the, uh, the merchant. As he drops them off, uh, about a gold to drink now. I'll slide him 20 gold. I can. I'll keep him coming. It's been... I don't think I've ever grabbed an ale with this hand. I lost it so early in life. Admiring my new hand as I drink. You know, if you cut it off, you could still get that cannon on there. <laughs> Phoenix is smiling. Yes. I do miss it. Uh, yeah, there's time for that. I have some ideas. I still use that thing. These robes are taking up priority right now. I would have probably had to disengage my prosthetic limb either way, truth be told. Yes. Phoenix looks down at his common bitch boots and he's like, I understand. But this amulet's worth losing those boots. I mean, you can still wear them. You just can't attune to the boots. It's just a reminder of the power I don't have. <laughs> Got all the power in the world at the moment with his new item. And he's like, but I don't have my boots. <laughs> <laughs> like, goddamn... <laughs> Hey, I'm not complaining. I said the amulet's worth the power. Oh, shit. You know? Yeah, it's funny. It's, it's funny. It's worth it. He's just like, yeah, I miss my boots, you know? They're good boots. Acting like Sam Winchester. I lost my shoe. <laughs> Probably one of the best episodes of that show. <clears throat> well, you guys continue to drink for a while as you count out this money and uh, a very well dressed man very chiseled feature hair long and kind of tied back walks over hello gentlemen and my lady as he reaches for your hand spoon breaker Give a noble's kiss. I'll smile with a shit eating grin. I noticed that, uh, unlike many people in this city, you seem to have a uh, large amount of wealth currently. Wondering if you might, uh, be so inclined as to spend some of it. Spend how? Well, I have a little business venture, if you're interested. You what see, uh, I'm betting on us winning this war. And... I mean, I don't mean to benefit from from war, but the way this is going, I mean, most of the population is decimated. As I'm sure you well know, being the Stormforged, of course. <clears throat> I'm debating on getting into real estate. With the lack of amount of people, we could easily become some of the richest people in the world, should we survive, of course. But I need some investor. You have the money? I have some of the money. But I also know the business. You just said you're thinking about getting into real estate. 
How do you know the business if you haven't even started yet? Well, I did do my studying, but unfortunately the war broke out before I could actually put my knowledge to work. <clears throat> Please, it, give me a moment. I, I, I can explain it all. Um, he lays out a what seems to be a perfect business plan. Aside from the fact you are profiting from war. And the death of, you know, 80-90% of the world's population. Uh, you can roll me, uh, anybody who wishes at that table can roll me a insight if you like. <clears throat> Tulamine and Spoonbreaker. The, uh, the plan does seem very sound. In fact, everybody, all of you think that it sounds very sound. It, it does seem like a good plan. However, Tulamine, being part of the, uh, Underbelly, if you will. This man might possibly be a, sh a bit of a shyster. Con man. I find your proposal interesting, but I'm sure we'll need time to properly consider it and discuss it amongst ourselves. Oh, of course, of course. Says, but uh, <clears throat> you don't mind. I would like to uh, steal the the lady. And he looks to you. Uh, I'm sorry, I did not catch your name yet. What is your name? Oh, I'm the only lady, right? Yeah, uh, <laughs> Spoonbreaker. You can call me Spoonbreaker. Oh, you break spoons. That's quite unfortunate. I. I do love a good spoon, you know. And he kind of smiles, his extremely white teeth almost uh, shining in the candlelight of this tavern. If you do a lot with a good spoon. Oh, that we could. Would you like to join me for dinner? Whoa there, handsome. But, uh... I'm not that easy. Oh, I asked you for dinner, not to head up to my. Uh, it's all the same, buddy. Hi. Uh, okay. Well. Very well. Um, I'll be back at my table having a few drinks. Uh, you'll be able to find me here if you decide to invest in my. Wonderful opportunity. Uh, my name is Furry Hunter three two one X X X. He doesn't pause when he gives you his name. I'm pausing because I'm bad with names. Uh, let's go with uh... Raphael. Hot. Good day. All of you. And as he turns to leave, he stops for a moment and looks back. I'm sorry, did did you say your name was Spoonbreaker? I did. Um Correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought Spoonbreaker was the Dragonborn in the Stormforge. It's a very odd name to be sharing with somebody. Let's just say, uh... I'm very much the same. Just a little... A little different. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. 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 
Ah. Uh, well, um. <clears throat> I think I'll be retiring to my room now. Uh, good evening. And he goes back to his table, grabs his drink, and immediately heads up the stairs. Giggle, giggle. Phoenix just bursts out laughing as soon as he sees the realization on the guy's face and makes it even more awkward for him. <laughs> <laughs> Wabu and Ash and Betney, uh, you guys walk in as the entire table starts to roar with laughter. Um, as you look around, you can see that uh, everyone here is rather... Um, dour and, and, and kind of down. Um, except for one table that just happens to have your friends at it. Uh, laughing hysterically. I'll walk up and ask him what was so funny. The con man tried to pick up Spoonbreaker and then realized he used to have a cock. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll chuckle along. To be fair, the body I don't think ever did. Just more his brain. And I continue just kind of looking at my <laughs> hand drinking. Yeah. Just the brain. I agree. Well, you guys continue um, having some more drinks throughout the evening. Waiting for the time to go back and see the Underbaron. Is there a pile of 10k on the uh, table for me? There is. Ooh, thank you very much. One for you as well, Wabu, if you want it. Oh, d don't worry about me. Just help me get some more materials. I I'm clean, seem to be cleaned out. Let me know what you want. Well, we'll talk to you about, about it, but it's going to be like whatever it is for like true resurrection, re reincarnate and revivify, basically, because those are what he cleaned out for me. Say the word. Word. Bet he kind of like sees all this money passing in. She's like, oh, what about me, Sulamine? Do I not get anything? I'll give her some of my gold. She she chuckles and says, "No, no, I'm 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 just kidding. I have what I need. I'm I'm fine." As everything just gets kind of awkward at the table. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying really hard not to say something mean. Those guys, it it was just a joke. Lighten up, my God. She kind of like blushes a little bit. We can we can send for um, Sakura, Sakura, Akura, Sakura. Akira. Some uh, some change out of the out of the vault for us. Hey, you could couldn't you? Yeah, we still have our sending stones. Uh huh. Well, uh, several of you guys all sit and have some drinks. Uh, but it finally becomes time to head back to get uh, an answer on what is going to be done. And as you guys enter the throne room, the Under Baron. Pondering. Ah, Stormforged. Welcome in. I've made a decision. And this is where we'll end for tonight. Bah, bah, bah. 